also cuss words. Hey! Hey. 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 This yeah. table can be filthy. I cuss don't words. care. Cuss words are enabled. <laughs> Yeah, so the first thing that's probably going to pop up is someone going, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Going to transition. I think we are alive. Are we all getting picked up? Yes, yeah, we my are. My head is blinding. Oh my god. Uh, that's great. Your head is blinding. <laughs> Mine's not. That's cool. I need a haircut. I need a beard cut. I can, I can hook you up at a one style. <laughs> I do it myself. I got you. I'll go ahead and start introducing. I'm going to see if I can do something about this. Uh... All right. Uh, well, uh, look who's at the top of the table. It's somebody new. I'm Mesa Does Cosplay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm Mesa Does Cosplay, and I am the DM for this Tears of Kairos campaign. So, uh, tally ho. All right, then. That My name is uh, Spencer, otherwise known as Ninja Spencer, and I shall be playing Zonya... Zonya Emberson at the Fire Genasi Wizard. I'm Nate. I'm playing Talgor, the uh, Lizard Folk Barbarian, who is me, the Chewbacca to Zalgor. All right. Uh, my name is Jed. Um, I'll be playing uh, Artin Dawnwatcher, the. Uh, what? We are dark. What? Uh, I, the... I did a thing. We've gone dark. Oh, sorry. But it, my name is Jed, and I'm going to be playing Art and Dawn Watcher, the, the Leonin uh, fighter. Hi, I'm Hewitt. I'm trying to do tech stuff. I'm playing Philvero Etrin, the genie warlock, who's also an astral elf. Alright, so uh, while, we're, while we're still getting um, uh, tech. tech straightened out, um, I'm going to go ahead, since we've got audio at least, uh, we'll go ahead and do some scene setting. Um, the, these individuals have, uh, been in the, uh, been on the island, country, continent of Zrael for a while, doing whatever of their, uh, various individual life pursuits. Um, <laughs> why are you laughing? I made us disappear for a second. Oh, how fun. Okay, um, but yeah, so, uh, you all have been around, uh, in in Israel long enough to have learned a few things about the native populace here. Um, many of the native Israelans um, are not like other humans you've encountered um, in your various travels. Um, they all, for a fact, have heterochromia. That is how you can identify a native yeah. Israelan. Um, sometimes it's just one eye is one color and whoa, that was a weird green screen effect. Oh, hello! I'm just trying to find anything to remove the bright glare. It's probably not happening. I could probably just... I'll just have to put something over my head. <laughs> this this is par for the course. I always have to wear something on my head. Okay. Great. That's why I love it. <laughs> wow. I apologize and for the okay. quality of the camera. It's okay. I'll just, I'll be, I'll be whitewashed. It's fine. All right. Uh, where was I? Uh, so heterochromia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, variations in iris are, are the norm for native Israelis. Um, they also have rather prominent, uh, cheekbones, um, like almost ridges underneath the outside corners of their eyes. And some Israelis, uh, especially many of the, uh, locals to the capital, the first trees, um, also have wings. Um, sometimes the wings have feathers and sometimes they are leathery like bats wings. Um, having been in the first trees for a little while, uh, you've picked up on a couple other things. Um, a lot of the ruling factions of Israel are dynastic families or clan type guilds. Here in the first trees, it's a uh, like a, almost a duarchy. Um, you've got Joria Jaziri, who is the queen of Alzrael, but alongside her is Martin Lucaren. He essentially is the head of the um, military infrastructure um, in Israel. And the both of them have put out um, a request for aid. Um, through bulletin boards, through um, town crier type. Who, did, who, who put out requests for aid? Um, the Queen of Israel, Joria Jaziri, and Martin Lucaren. 
who is the like high general of Israel. And so they've, they've put out uh, requests for aid with regards to um, various supply caravans having been attacked, accosted, and otherwise destroyed en route to various locations across the rail. Um, there is a conference that will be held in one of the um, major uh, meeting rooms um, in the, the central... Hey, Dewey. Um, in the central... Um, tree of the first trees. Um, this is a combination of treehouse town and ground level stuff. Um, everything is, is easy to navigate um, with, with uh, signposts and things like that. So um, directions were given on the, the flyer and essentially kind of dropping y'all in on this, uh, we're going to start in that meeting. Um, where basically you have made your way up the tree um, to this, it's a big conference room. The table itself is actually um, almost like a spoke on a wheel out from the center of the tree um, into this, this room space. And as you enter um, the room, uh, there's already a couple other small groups similar in size, four or five individuals um, seated around the table. There's really only space for the four of you still left um, along one of the sides. So, if you would, please introduce yourself around the table as you enter. Like, descriptions, etc. Okay. <clears throat> well, then, that probably walking up first, that you all just see kind of like a kind of, kind of, sort of like a caramel skin, just woman that she has, like, pointy ears, but she also has, like, prominent, like, like, varicose fire veins going, uh, going just up her face. And then as she basically has, like, these hazelnut orange <coughs> eyes and then as she has on that this kind of like this red kind of like bur kind of like bur kind of like beret style hat just kind of like big coke bottles thick uh thick rim glasses then that she basically one prominent feature is that she does have that the london look going for it so she got a gap tooth and she's basically dressed up up in just like a little kind of like vest with just that a suit with just this long long kind of like duster overcoat that 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 could be doubled as basically a wizard's cloak in a sense but two prop that two prop now the two prominent features that she does have is basically that for one that she has this uh stopwatch i mean that this uh that this pocket watch that she's just always just constantly just uh like holding and in that kind of almost clutching alongside that her that you know that her spell tone basically has this uh hourglass on the front of it and then that and uh then that her hair is basically brown that kind of goes up into like fiery fiery tips at the end and then she's just like oh come on town Gordon, we're gonna be late we need to come on so behind him comes in a big bluish green lizard man he's got just like he does with a miniature, I know y'all can't see it. He's got one piece of armor right here, highly decorative bronze bracers right here that kind of denote the rank and when the military he was in. He's got a loincloth, and then there's nothing, no loin to cloth. <laughs> he's got a little grass skirt right here. And uh, he's just big, carries a giant axe, daggers across his chest, and a spear he uses kind of like a walk. I love the ammo belt with daggers. That's, that's a choice. Dagger, I love it. dagger, 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 dagger. <laughs> right. Don't hug the lizard folk is what we're getting here. <laughs> He'll hug you. Got stabbed. Stabby, stabby. How many D4s is that? Six. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> so, walking in, um, Arthur, uh, fairly tall, dark, uh, complected for uh, Leonin. I uh, my hair is gonna be oh, my mane is slicked back into a ponytail, and the bottom part of my mane is braided much like you would see a, a dwarven beard mm -hmm. type thing. So it, it's kind of pulls that down. Um, armor we're gonna is uh, more more or less chainmail um, with some uh, blue and red. Uh, Drapings to go over it. They're more decorative than anything. 
we all here? Who, we know who the hot one is now. <laughs> that Me. beard. Indeed we do. Indeed. But I'm also thinking chain mail over the fur has to be... Annoying. I mean, you got it padding. Could, it could be backed. Pa- like, there, there's padding. I know there's it's padding underneath. Backed. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely, definitely backed. backed. I'm just imagining if it wasn't just... Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's the hot one, not the dumb one. <laughs> this is true. Or, or maybe I'm saying you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just got kicked. You don't know. <laughs> you can find out. What um, you don't wee! know. Wee! <laughs> wee! Uh, Moving on. <laughs> Moving are on. We? I don't think we are. <laughs> so after the rather large Leon and individual comes in, a uh, about 5'5 five, five to 5'7, five, kind of hard to tell because you're not sure if those boots are lifts or not. Uh, you can't tell if there's if the heel on them is larger is a uh, light purple almost pinkish skinned elf who has a long set of deep green dreads that every so often it looks like there's a flick of just light traveling through them uh, their eyes are very very dark and within them you can see almost like pinpricks of light almost like the night sky uh, but that's Probably not the first thing you notice about this character because there's a lot of clinking and they are wearing a very bright, vibrant, garish patchwork cloak of multiple different fabrics that have been stitched together. Uh, has a, what looks like an oversized jeweler's hammer and a holster and then just a plethora of jeweler's tools on belts and they're, they're wearing a uh, brown leather vest that just has tons of tiny pockets. I'm not. I didn't design this just because I want a vest with tiny pockets. Everybody wants a vest with tiny pockets. Don't but be there's just all these different. There's pliers and snips and a cup. Like it looks like there's a hammer that has a screw on for a longer uh, half to it. Uh, also has a large lantern on a uh, lockable clasp on the belt. Uh, uh, it's round on the mini because I couldn't find a square one, but it's like those right. square stained glass mm-hmm. lanterns that look, there's parts of it that look very pristine and very beautiful. And then there's parts where like you can tell there's a gemstone missing or something needs to, the, there's a tarnish that hasn't been buffed out yet, but it's at one point this lantern was absolutely gorgeous. This is not that point. And... All right, is this where we're supposed to be? Why, yes, uh. I believe so. I mean, that is just seats for us. We can go. Yes. All right. I'm already sitting down. <laughs> Too busy. Uh, I don't... We're, we're around each other. We don't need to be... The, I'm already sitting. <laughs> um, at the table with you guys um, is a rather um, obvious uh, bunch of dwarves. Um, seem to be seem to be mountain folk, and uh, they seem to be rather worn and, and have have been doing the adventuring thing for a while. Um, there's also a trio of elves with a halfling companion, um, and there is also a set of Zraelin humans as well. Um, the it, it's kind of a there, there's a bit of a you know, tense vibe in the air, like uh, nobody really knows whether this is like a bidding war for, for the job or what, so I mean, there, there's really no telling. The flyer wasn't that specific. Um, but, uh, now that everybody is seated, um, a door actually in the tree opens up, and out come three individuals, all Zraelans, all winged. Um, one is obviously Queen Jaziri. She's the only female in the, in the trio. Um, she bears herself as a queen. She is tall, she is regal, and her eyes are blue here and solid blue except for the tiniest fleck of yellow on one of her eyes. Um, her wings are a very sandy amber, um, of, of leathery goodness. And, um, basically, Nate has not died yet. No. No. He just can't speak. 
Also, I apologize for what sounds like something is gnawing a bone to death on the audio. It's a dogo. It's, 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 it's a dewy. It's something actually gnawing a bone to death. Yeah. yeah. On the audio, so. It's exactly what it sounds like. <clears throat> what it says on the tin. Um, right behind uh, Queen Queen Jaziri is um, who who would probably obviously be Martin Luke Cameron. Um, he comports himself as a general. He's in full kit. Um, and even his wings, like the, the long bones on the top of his wings, actually have scale, um, scale mail covering. Um, and he, he, he's all but loaded for bear. Um, behind the two of them, Neg, three out of ten, how dare you? Zeta. We, we know where you <laughs> live, Zeta. Anyway. Anyway. I get distracted. Okay. Um. Behind the two of them is uh, one final individual. This this is an elderly gentleman carrying a very large stack of scrolls, papers, etc. And uh, his his wings are the are, are feathery. Um, uh, he basically seems to be there for for taking notes and or uh, cataloging whatever happens. Se- secretarial type of situation. Um, these three individuals come to the open end of the table, and um, Queen Jaziri basically uh, puts her puts her hands on the table, leans forward a little bit, and says, "Thank you all for coming. Um, I really don't know uh, whether this is going to do any good. We've sent out a few uh, groups similar to this before, and uh, haven't had much success. So hopefully, we'll uh, get some more." get some more results out of this. Um, essentially what we have happening is we have certain locations that only uh, they, they don't have the farmland and so we, we try to you know we shunt goods back and forth different places and we've had a lot of our supply caravans getting attacked. Um, we don't have a lot of information about who or what is making these attacks on our caravans all we know is uh, the few survivors that are left go insane. We don't have any further... We can't get anything out of them. Whatever they've seen either has uh, broken their minds or scared them such that they cannot be um, reliable narrators of their tales. Um, the goods in our caravans are often being left to rot on the road rather than actually stolen. Um, but sometimes things are missing. Uh, we don't know whether this is a situation of the attackers stealing things or scavengers coming later, yes? Um, what exactly has been missing? It's been everything from clothing to food to boards off the wagons themselves. There's not really rhyme or reason to it as far as we've been able to determine at this point. Um, what we are looking for are individuals to not only provide guard duty um, for the caravans to hopefully ensure their safe arrival at their destinations, but also we are looking for investigators to report. That have that they've been harvesting the people that they have been missing or anything like that? No. Okay. The bodies are left where they are. Thank you. Um, I I regret that I don't have any further information. Um, we we're trying we're, we're basically playing catch up. Something's got the jump on us, and we don't have what we need to get forward. So have you ever thought of sending someone with wings to see it? We've had individuals go with, and they become victims as well. So it has reach. Okay. Oh, that is rather perplexing. As As uneducated call that dangerous. It's dangerous, not perplexing. Well, to be fair, I'm I'm still trying to figure out the voice 100% here. To be fair, something perplexing can be dangerous. They can be one and the same. They're not mutually exclusive. That is the conclusion that we have drawn, often enough. In any case, um, we have uh, 
three caravans that are moving out on the morrow um, at dawn. Um, we're essentially looking for three of you, three of your groups, to uh, one each accompany these caravans. We'll have more caravans going out within the next fortnight that uh, the remainder would be more than willing to uh, join up then. But uh, what we can offer is um, you will each receive uh, the equipment um, that we have set aside for you uh, with the caravans. Uh, that includes rations and camping equipment. Um, you will receive a payment of 20 gold um, when you help your caravan reach your destination. Um, up front, we are giving everyone a bag of holding um, to ensure that you can bring back whatever evidence uh, that might possibly help us uh, determine what is happening. Um, the bag of holding will be yours to keep as part of your payment. Um, you will also, when you reach your destination, receive one night uh, room and board at a tavern. We will set that up uh, for you in advance. How oh, gracious. Hmm. Yes, very much thanks for that. Uh, so, uh, is there anyone who does not wish to help us in this regard? And the dwarves are actually going to kind of grumble about not worth their time and basically leave the meeting, leaving the three groups here. So. Yeah. Well, I don't blame them. We, uh, we do what we can and sometimes it's not enough. So, um, what we have happening is we need a group to go west to find a spade we need a group to go east through miners marshes as dangerous as that is to stone scar pass and we need a group to go south uh to the far southern end of piner's cabin town um anyone have a preference how many dwarves is left four um i think my only preference is to uh, split up the gold you are going to give to the dwarves to the rest of us we're actually going to save that. Uh, we're probably going to keep needing these accompanying caravans, and we're going to put that back in our coffers for the next batch. Yes. Hmm. I mean, because either way, they were going to be leaving out not mm -hmm. in the morning anyway. So. So where do we want to go? Marshes or where's the last time? Last place that we went, that they were attacked. We've had attacks on all three routes over the last few weeks. There's no. Okay. Well, Whatever this is has enough reach, and whatever the strategy is, it's impossible to get ahead of. Um, I would say that the most capable group would probably need to go through miners marshes as it is the most dangerous with the most natural hazards um, as well as whatever else this is but i certainly don't blame anyone for not wanting to go that route <coughs> well don't volunteer out front mr scales yeah let's just he does make a good point. He does, that, you know, that Talgon does make, make a good point. British. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Talgon does uh, make a good point. Uh, it will come to me eventually. But. I'm just hmm. eventually going to say fuck it and just go for Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> I do believe that uh, we could basically go either either to to the to the east or wait sorry what 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 were the directions again west to finest fade south to the far southern end of finest cabin town east to stone scar pass through the marsh we can definitely go i mean it is just up to to y'all really i'm feeling south south no one else is saying anything I don't feel like getting paid the exact same amount to go through a marsh that's more dangerous than the other places. Much like scales here. So yeah, south. Alright. What would fun. you feel would be an appropriate compensation if you were, if you were to go east? Well, if I can chime in here. Sure. Well, first off, instead of gold, I'd personally like to be paid uh, 
in a spool of silver wire uh, the amount of go. the gold. That That is my first request. Uh, but I would say the 20 gold is fine if maybe a gemstone for each of us was also placed in. Would say a ruby or an emerald worth about 50 to 60 gold. Also, intrigue anybody else? That could be arranged. Theo does make a good point. Also, if one oh, of these two things, the gemstone or the gold, could be paid up front instead of after I die, would well, be nice. To be fair, they are giving us quite a good bit of equipment to begin with. That is true. You gotta lean in. You're talking to nobility. Scratching my teeth with my claws. <laughs> yes, I understand that, but talking to nobility. <sighs> so what are your thoughts about this, Talgor? She kind of turns to the other groups he while y'all are just, discussing. He's uh, just ta- that you know that basically that Talgor says that he is uh, about kind of like mix on the fence, or so to speak, as what that the youngins always say. Fine, we do the we do the gym and the gold. We go south. Or, wait, no, gym and the gold. We go mm-hmm. to the marsh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. That, I would do. Would that be fair for the marsh? Yeah, sure. I mean, Could we also maybe get some silver up front? I would say copper, but that seems like an insult. Now ah, who's talking to nobility? She'll come back to y'all and, and be like, have we, have we come to an agreement? Neither of them seem inclined to go to the marsh either. So. I mean, it, it is oh, wait, we were doing this all together? That yeah. she had wa- I'm sorry, I thought she was here the whole time while he was saying that. He, she was, and oh. then she turned away. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. I was like... Rather than, rather than making it more awkward, she turned away. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, she was not the host that we're talking to. <laughs> it is, I mean, uh, it is basically up to y'all. I mean, uh, we, uh, can, we can provide room and board tonight before you leave as well, so that you don't have anything to really worry about. But as for the, the final sweets. payment, yeah? that's when you arrive. Personally, I find this perfectly fine. Same. Thank you very much. Um, and she's actually going to turn to the older gent and actually whisper to him, and she's going to trust leave. Actually, going to pay us. <laughs> DM listen, you've already turned. DM listening. <laughs> <not, laughs> I waited until you turned, DM and then I said to him. DM listening. And Phil is just looking around to make sure the one that right. can disappear me. Yeah, did. no, she's 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 elsewhere. Is that a nod in, in agreement or not? Never mind. <laughs> oh, I mean that. I mean that we have known each other for about about. A month or so, so then that that you have always been making the executive decisions seemingly it is your call. I don't think we're getting it out of them today, so it's fine. No, no. That he does this a lot. We have to just wait until that he has his little notepad that I always provide. You're gonna need to learn design language or something, man. I'm going to need to learn it, too. That'd be the only thing I'd suggest. It's just easier to say it. I'm eventually just going to have to remember whatever Nate wrote and then have it pop up when this goes to YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) What what if you actually handed over the notes, like like a transcript? That would be nice. (laughs) Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to do that. (laughs) So, to that that, uh, thought process, since... uh, who? Who's to say that it wasn't looted before we were there? And and then it wasn't us that did it. I have a bag of holding. Where, 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 where'd it go? I mean, uh, you do. <laughs> she's make she's a bag still of she's this, talking this is, to this uh, is just me. The, the I got you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I was yeah. just like, hold on. <laughs> so did uh, did you give everyone individually a bag of holding, or just each group? One? They haven't handed. They haven't handed it. Yeah, I'm just saying, but. Please it w- it will be individual. Okay. I mean, but, okay. you know, back up in character. Holding bags, holding so, bags, holding bags, bags. So basically, then that 
we can go travel south. I mean, then that, you know, then that I have never really been down south. Mm, I'm sorry. Bye. This is Hewitt asking question. Is south to the bog? No, the east, east is the bog. No, e, no, the east is the bog. I'm down for east. I'm down for east. I'm down for east. If we're going to get a gemstone, plus, not going to lie, if Phil can actually get paid in silver wire at the moment, he's sold. Yeah, I mean. Sneaking suspicion that we're not going to get paid at all, but sure, down for East. Get a bag of holding and supplies, and I don't have to spend my gold on, on room and board, at least tonight. Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that you sound like one of my old students that they had always kept complaining, and then that they had kept on dropping rocks on their toes. The scholar comes back carrying a pile of folded fabric bags, um, and on top of the bags are smaller pouches. Um, hands over like the top four and the, the pouches to the, the queen who comes back over with them and puts them on the table in front of you guys. Uh, she opens the, the small pouch and pours out on top of the bags of holding four gems. Um, one is a ruby color, one is emerald, yes. one is a black onyx type color, and the other is a bright citrine yellow. Okay. Uh, on the black. Phil's going to put his hand <laughs> on the lantern real quick mm -hmm. and not verbally say anything out loud. Just gonna, which one? Which one? The mm. green I'm already size. good. I'm already going to start... If no one else minds, I'd like the emerald. Go on, go on. On it. <laughs> so these. So which one did you take? These I gems I are. What you get? Palm size. I don't know which one yet. Mm, I'll take the ruby. Okay, yeah, then I, I will take the yellow citrine one. I can get. Please write down which gem you took. Okay. All right, yellow citrine. As long as you have it noted down, because I'm not writing it down, this is for y'all to keep up with. <laughs> yes, Emerald. What's the value on each of these gems? Um, they're they're not really great quality, so it's. Are they it, rough? Rough cut. They're they're pretty rough, yeah. Okay. Like all but fresh mined. Um, so probably anywhere from thirty to fifty gold. Could I just call it even put forty? And uh, she's going to be like, so is uh, are we agreed then? You you four will be accompanying the caravan east? Yes. Yes. Yes, Majesty. All right. Uh, when you approach the, uh, the How guard... How do you do that as a lizard folk? <laughs> just <laughs> He just uh, does this all the time. I'm sorry, no, it's just Nate's doing the, the kiss-ass face. I'm like, <laughs> all I can imagine is lizard folk. <laughs> when when you approach the guard gate outside Stone Scar Pass, uh, you will be able to uh, report your findings there rather than having to travel all the way back, and uh, um, you will receive the rest of your pay then, and you will be set up at the Talons Tavern Inn in Stone Scar when you arrive. Talons Tavern Inn, and that is the Stone Scar Pass, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, the caravan will leave at dawn. Ask for Brandon. Brandon. At the east uh, road, out of town. East road. And she's going to move on to the other groups. Essentially, you have been dismissed. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my bag of holding. Mm. <clears throat> grab the bag, tie it to my waist, holding. and then uh, yeah, we. Uh, to a place. <laughs> and there it is. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> the delay. Uh, oh, just pardon me. Then that was just that the delicious food I, we just had before we came down. All right, so I'm leaving. Just we, we were dismissed. <laughs> they're, 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 she's talking to the other people. I don't need any other information from her. I've gotten everything we're going to get from her. So I guess I'm just leaving now. Yeah. Okay. Follow suit. All right. Uh, 
what would you all like to do? It is early afternoon. You um, said we have 150 gold. You do. I'd like to go potion shop. Same. We'll be tagging along to do the same. All right. Shop, shopping time. Shopping time. Shopping, shopping trip. Time. All right. Shopping. Um, shopping. Uh, oh my God! It's shopping. You you all have been in the first trees long enough to know that there is all of one general goods store, uh, the Ringed Oak. Um, it's actually this this tree over here. Okay. Um, it uh ba basically that was the big central tree that y'all were in. So it's literally just hop skipping a jump away. Um, and did your bit break off the top? It did. Oh, oh no. What I was getting out. I'll, I'll fix it later. I, I got, got super glue. Oh, if no. I could find the bit. Oh no. <laughs> So it's um, the uh, also has tin foil, so you know, <laughs> yeah, just do make, that. make a tin foil bit. Mm -hmm. The the ringed oak is essentially a uh, circular ring building around a tree. It's okay. not it's not attached to the tree. Mm -hmm. It rings the tree. Um, hello, that's a bloody pocket knife. <laughs> it is a really bad pocket knife. It doesn't even cut tape. But no, oops. there are no weapons on this table. Don't fear. Um, it's only a tool. <laughs> it's a tool. <laughs> it's a multi-tool. Um, yeah. So the uh, the the ringed ringed oak is um, is a, is a general store. Pretty much anything you want, you could find. Um, inside the there's a, a rather narrow walkway, um, and the the walls are stacked. Um, shelves, cubbies, baskets. Um, and every 20 feet or so, there's like a, like a, like almost a niche where a, a worker stands, um, because line of sight, you, they're watching to make sure nobody tries to steal. They have employees for security cameras? <laughs> Essentially, yes. I mean, they're also like your cashiers, but they're, they're all, it, they're spaced, so it's... Yeah. Welcome to Walmart. I must say, it's like every store yeah. I've worked in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like, I imagine security cameras and then people moving around. You just got this dude, it's like, my name's Jerry. I don't get to move here for my eight-hour shift. Hi, Jerry. Don't steal shit. They're, Noted. They're obviously helping the customers purchase things. Right. Ah. They're not just security. They are the staff. Well, then that... I know that basically, like back at home, that they did have basically uh, DGMM all the time. That they basically used drift globes and then magic mouths to record everything. Nope, not here. I know. <laughs> I know. There's just one halfling duct taped in a corner. <laughs> I see you! <laughs> so not. <dark. laughs> Put that shit back! Put your back. Uh, uh, ghost in here. Is going it? to walk up to the counter and then who is at the counter? Um, this is a, a Israeli human. No wings, just heterochromia. And male or female? Uh, male. Yes. And then I, I am going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Why, uh, yes, sir. Uh, if that you don't mind, that uh, how much are your uh, potions of healing? Uh, potions of healing. What what, uh, what strength are you looking for there? Just at the wee bitty ones. The wee bitty ones, uh, they're going to run you about 25 gold. 25 gold? How much for the next uh, tier up? 40. They're on sale. Oh, that they're on sale. Okay, so... No. I perk up in the corner like someone, <laughs> like someone said my name. <laughs> Just mouth full of the free food samples. <laughs> I was holding something um, completely different. Like, what? So... Acorn, acorn bread Let's with see. a very bitter butter. I was saying, that, that was saying he just stands up with like all the samples in his mouth. Sarah! Uh, I would like to take a uh, four of those, beard, man. Just... <laughs> Four, so then if that's... Math is hard. Forty apiece, you say? 160. Then that, 160. <laughs> math, hard. I'm um, going to need two of those as well. All right. Hand, hands you. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, like a little milk crate. Yeah. Hands, hands you a little, like, finger-sized with the little bottles. Okay. And then that, that is the medium Puts level. another four out here for you guys to fight oh, over. <laughs> no, I already have two of them. They're mine. I'm <laughs> fighting over. Okay, two small ones. Like okay. regular. What's the and stats and the on the potions? So those are the, uh, those will be the graders that, are, that do the 4d4 plus 4. Okay. 
It's easy to remember because forty. Put it, putting it in the bag of holding. So, so you want two little smaller ones or one of the greater? Okay, so the the little ones are twenty five pieces. That's fifty, and then forty is ninety. Yeah. Um, and the little ones do the two d four plus two. D4. two. And that the greater is the forty four plus, plus four. four. Okay. Twenty six HP, guys. <laughs> Protect me. <laughs> Small. Just stand in the back. Do your wizard thing. I have thirty, so. This. You're all such babies. <laughs> that sounded wrong. That's <laughs> babies. The oldest. We lambs. I am thirty five years old. We uh, squishy very lambs. Much. Phil is gonna make his or make their. Mm -hmm. Sorry, pronouns for Phil are gonna be he them. He'll answer to both. Okay. I'm pretty sure Phil will answer to anything, honestly. Yo! <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, it'll be she, her, for Zanya. Uh, we'll go over to see if there is uh, a demijohn of some form of alcohol. What's a demijohn? A uh, container. Like oh. clay. It's <laughs> a clay. It's a clay container. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, um... I, I'm just saying Demijohn because I didn't want to be like, obviously they have fifths and <laughs> milliliters. and. Um, there is, but it is the bitterest, it's like rubbing alcohol. Um, it's it's medicinal slash cleaning. It's not. That, that, is, that is what I want. I have tools. <laughs> you have what? Then I have tools. I have a be... vest full of tools. Going to be looking around for basically any more just like basic beginners wizards I'm, of paper and ink. I'm more or less following about them. ten goals worth I was following Phil for a second he picked up the 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 drink like I'm gonna I'm gonna get this I leaned over and smelled it mm. one no. silver um for basically like a quart <clears throat> if anything better tasting not here um, they do. Uh, one of the one of the staff members does tell you that if you if you want the good drinking stuff, you got to go see Brom. We're going to Brom. Tell. <laughs> I will be fine. Just fine. like hold up a set of flyers that the tips do need to be clean. Buy this for drinking. This will rot your stomach. We're going to Brom. All right, and you we'll were looking on. for for just uh, like about <laughs> ten gold worth of basically paper and ink and stuff. Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. Anything else in in the shop? Okay. Even the even she drinks. Ah, uh, she doesn't. Okay, she doesn't drink. So we're all going to Brahms. Yeah, um, Brom is the uh, barkeep at the Wild Chestnut, um, which you may or may not have been staying. It's basically the local inn. Is that where we're staying tonight? Mm -hmm. That's where y'all y'all will be set up. Yes, I don't I yes. don't know your I don't know your past. So yes. if you, if you were staying there, then you're you're there. You know All right, where it is. Going basically. to basically prop up up in a corner, books and stuff, and just start <laughs> just studying and writing. Uh, we'll have one drink and then head up to their room. Okay. Um, so drinks are going to be uh, your, your typical uh, four copper. Okay. I'm going to go play dice. <laughs> Ooh, this will be fun. Um, Rollies. Yeah. The, um, so you, there's not a lot of... Have that? Yeah, I have those bone dice. Good. So do I. Just want to make sure you have some. <laughs> okay. There's watching not... out, watching out for your Liz. Give me your bone it's dice. My and... bros. Are you? Yeah. Then I'm just keeping just a close eye on just Talgor while I'm just studying and stuff. There's not a lot of people in the wild chestnut. It's still kind of mid afternoon. Um, from experience, the the evening crowd will will be along for dinner. Um, but right now there are a couple of they they look like maybe they're with one of the car one or the other of the caravans. They they have the look of of merchant type folk. But the, the rough and rowdy handler types. Um, and they are kind of hanging out, uh, dicing and, and gambling in a corner. Um, so, uh, I'm going to do the universal symbol and I want to play dice. Definitely. What do you play? <laughs> he plays dice. 
<laughs> yeah, but what game? Like, I mean, are we talking yeah. high, low? Are we talking fools? Yeah. And you just you just started nodding. <laughs> just, uh, to, just to say I play those. And he he plays whatever game you play. Point, what, what I'm going to do while they're talking, I'm just going to point to the scar, kind of point out I can't talk. Note to self, fix my, uh, uh, tower My brother's wife was was didn't talk much too. I got gotcha. you. Ah, so hang on a minute. This is gonna be fun. All right. So uh, high low is is to 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 explain, and I'm not doing it in character, but to explain, high low is essentially uh, you ante up, and uh, then each round um, changes who who's actually rolling. Okay. Um, and it's literally just high low, mm-hmm. um, but each round you ante, and if you don't ante, then you're not rolling. I got you. That's that's it. Okay. So um, uh, they're gonna ante up uh, five gold to start. Okay. Um, and literally, it's just you declare whether you think the roll is gonna be high or low beforehand, high or low. Got your gold. Okay. Um, Got five. So how much did I win? You won his five. Okay. Basically, basically one one guy's playing you. Okay. Just making life easy. Um, cool. No. Nah, double to nothing. Okay. So he puts ten out. Cool. All right. That's going to be high. Oh, he's the he's the one that says uh-huh. it. So I'll get. I guess I'm low. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Hands it over. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna walk away. No, no, no. I am uh, just <laughs> going idea. to just shoot <laughs> a <laughs> message and just be like, "Oh, tell Gord that you made friends. Good job." So you, just go. you can reply to this message. <clears throat> oh, did you did you do a message? Uh, uh, yes, I did have, a message you during this during this whole with message thing. Though, so. I would have gotten a drink. No, well, I'm gonna say just in uh, the I'll make one a drink. And then I, I looked at him weird, like, you left after two rolls? Yeah, I, I know you won, and you were on, <laughs> but you were on a streak. <laughs> it's like, you can't just leave after two rolls. Talgor, Talgor is you, not no, keep doing, keep doing the hand motions. Okay, t- Talgor is not superstitious. <laughs> let's, let's not do the hand motions unless we actually know ASL. Yeah. Right. Please. Right. <laughs> Ma- mannerisms I can read. Yeah, don't throw any words in here. I'm, I like playing this game. Go, okay, go, go, go. Okay. What do you mean you're not superstitious? <laughs> I mean that I'm coming I... up with the two in a row. It's still a 50-50 chance every time. Hey, Catman, you want to play? <laughs> Hush, you. <laughs> you play now. I'll play now. Ow. You play. No. No? No. Okay. I don't want to lose money. I don't need it. I want to keep what I want. I'm just gonna jingle my bag. I mean, I mean that to be. I mean that to be. I mean that basically to be fair. I did once save Talgor at the at just at the no. expense of just my own magic. In a sense, I brought him back from the dead. Okay. Reversed his time pretty much, and lost almost all of my knowledge. So I'm back to square one. But how does that affect him gambling? <laughs> because that you see that a price had to be paid and I don't know. Was the price paid in gold? Did he win it from dice? I'm confused. He had lost part of his soul. Just that oh that you have seen that the old Bardic play about that the two younger brothers, that the one that who had lost an arm and a leg and basically his entire soul. You know, that they had called it like basically like, you know, like Heavy, that you know, that they called it like, just like heavy plate mail wizardry or something? I don't know. Leans out of a door. Looks directly at you. From the balcony, I'm guessing, or is the room all on the floor? Leans down. No. (laughs) It was a stupid body play anyway. It was heavy iron arcanist. Oh, that was it. All I'm saying is if you kept going with the with the double or nothing, double or nothing for a couple more turns, you could have doubled all your money a few more times. Maybe. If you lost once, then where are you back at? Square one. You could have lost, though. 
I done told you to hush. No, I was broke. Oh. You all look alike. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, a few hours go by upstairs. Um, I'm assuming there's a little table in the room. Yeah. Jeweler's tools out. I am working on faceting or breaking down the uh, the raw emerald that we were given and faceting it because there's a spot right in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Make an arcana check. First roll of the game. Uh, okay. Plus one, guys. That's a 12. As you start um, marking and, and you go to make that first strike to kind of cleave off a, a facet, um, there's a... You're not sure why, you're not sure the origin exactly but there's a almost a shiver that kind of goes through not only your tools but you as you strike across the deck yeah. that's new puts or the lanterns up on just reach a hand out um any clue what that was did we all see Magic. These? No, but he's no. in the room. Okay. Should have phrased the question more specifically. I will then just start to study the... I'm not going to try to strike that thing again without studying it. Okay. Um, just go ahead and give me another arcana with advantage, though. So that's an 18. That's a dirty 20. There you go. There you all go. right. So um, as you, you, you take some time and you're kind of... You're, you're focusing and much like you feel the when, when your consciousness kind of moves to a shell um you feel a similar connection um to this gem something about this gem is Excuse. not exactly sentient but can function as a conduit of sorts it has connections to whatever you want to call it aether the weave there's something about it that connects to magic. But it's unrefined and it doesn't have a focus or purpose. I'll just spend the rest of the evening trying to figure out how to... Because if it doesn't have a purpose, I can give it one right about <laughs> there. <laughs> Yeah, um, you, you'll, basically you'll be able to determine there is nothing harmful about it. It can't retaliate against you. And if you want to still affix it to the lantern, there's nothing that will stop you from doing that. Okay. Uh, but it's, it seems like a conduit and that like it won't, it, it's giving me the vibe that there's a little bit of feeling to this. Not feeling as in sentience, but the properties of it as a physical thing could be made into more. It's not a... Okay, I was, I was feeling like I was about to ask permission of the gym to do this. No, uh -oh. it, doesn't, it doesn't have sentience, and, and okay. there's nothing that already has a claim to it that could then harm you in retaliation. Okay, so again, this thing's about the size of a palm. Yeah. Which means when I crack, well, eventually, if I can, crack this and put it on and affix it to the lantern, I'm left over with probably a bunch of gem dust. Mm -hmm. Or maybe much smaller, unrefined emeralds. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'm just, I'll just try to, because, I mean, the, if it's a palm size, <laughs> I'm, like, trying to get, like, an emerald, like, maybe that big yeah. into the facet. So I guess I'll yeah. just roll again. Arcanum or, or Arcana or... Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a nat one. <laughs> um, it cleaves wrong on your next strike, and so you're like, oh, I'm gonna give it, give it some time. You can, you can, you'll be able to eventually get it, like, I mean... Like, not, but not tonight. That not is, tonight. it's... Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's me. It weirded you out a little bit, so you gotta 
think about it for a little bit. I also don't have another emerald, and Shelly might get mad. Mm-hmm. So. Have you seen her mad? No. You don't want to see her mad. No. <laughs> <laughs> sounds bad. That sounds... Right. Um, so while, whilst uh, Frendo was upstairs and, and doing weirdness, um, what were y'all doing downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> I know that basically that eventually that Zarya that that Zarya would basically just start just like looking at it like oh this is pretty and then that she actually while that her just little nook is set up set up set up then that you will actually like start to see kind of like some kind of like fiery cogwheels just start to kind of go up over it and then it just starts to kind of levitate a little bit and then just like Are magical you like doing this at the bar. Yes, I'm doing this at the okay. bar. I wanted to get a scene on this the, on this talk process. Okay. Yes, sure. Because yeah. I'm just watching. Yeah. So then, that she's just like that. This is a strange land, and just I want to see what kind of properties this thing may have. Our camera. All right. Nope. Advantage not though, because your your magiciness give you advantage. That is a seventeen on the die, yeah. and then that's going to be a twenty-two. Um. This gem is, it almost feels like an energy reservoir. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's not something you're intimately familiar with because your, your brand of magic is more time mm -hmm. and gems by their nature are rather timeless. Right. Um, but this thing could be used as a reservoir for energy. Um, what color? It is the yellow citrine one. In particular, this one seems to have an affinity for uh, lightning and electricity. Oh. And then uh, as that the uh, magic just coalesce, and then that as as that as that she, she just starts to just focus on, then that maybe just like a small spark on just oh is that is that this thing is electric oh shocking revelation yeah. <laughs> what all right do mine next <clears throat> okay sure what gonna, color onyx we're gonna i'm gonna have the bottle from the bartender okay oh wait Bottom sorry then that was it in the uh, advantage room or mm -hmm. okay so 12 was the highest at 17. Okay. This black gem is worth much, 40 gold. It's much more different than your citrine. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, rather than it feeling like a reservoir, mm -hmm. it feels like a connection to something else. You can feel a presence somewhere down the line but it's foggy one might even say hazy oh that this one uh, it's uh it, it it just doesn't have any type of magical properties but you may be able to connect with something it's something is in this one ominous. and she hands his back gonna, very I'm ominous be my it, Why not? holding it up to the light there's nothing and then, uh, it is kind of hazy it's Oh. Perception. As you're looking at it through the like looking at the light through it. Ten. As you hold it up to the light That's and as you're kind of focusing through the facet, the, the like shelf of, of the gem, there's a a shadow that kind of like a curtain but it's gone it's there and gone so quick and it doesn't reappear so you're not really sure what that was whether it was just the light reflect reflecting through the light mm -hmm. the gem or whether it was something else so as soon as i said there's nothing in it they're like whoop there what was might be something in it oh yeah Oh, this goes that back in the bag. Wants me to be his. What color? It's the ruby. The ruby. The ruby. Yeah. That is, ooh, that, you got the lowest roll. That, you got a 13. Everyone else has a gem and I have an egg. 
It's a 13 on the ruby. Um, it's... You're, you're kind of... There, there's that, that haze. You can't quite mm -hmm. think past whatever secrets the, the black right. gem holds. But um, the, you can definitely tell that it has an affinity for fire. Okay. Just like heat energy. That Talgor, that this one has affinity to flames. So then that maybe that you can use it for something down the line for flame weapons or whatever. Is this like a torch or anything nearby? Um, we'll see. I here. mean, that well, I just produce flame. Or, or that. <laughs> I'm kind of hold it over. Um, so the. As you're kind of. Or how close are you getting it to the flame? Oh, it's going. It's going to go through the flame. Okay. The flame seems to kind of almost pass through the gem. Like, it doesn't just curl around it, it kind of like. As if the gem doesn't really exist. But as you kind of pull it out, you can see a sparkle that wasn't there before. Just look at it. Perception. Yeah. That's a 14. It feels warmer. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's absorbed a little of the energy of that flame. Huh. So then I take it then that mm -hmm. I have... Uh, Lightning, oh, is is something that the matter? There's no shadow in his, just fire. Yeah, I mean that. Why would red have shadow? Why would mine have shadow? It's onyx. I don't know. I mean, then it's that, a gem. I mean that you know that I did basically do a little bit about some reading about basically that the history and the religion as a scholar. So. I don't know yet. Royals. I am not from royalty. No, not you. We asked for gems. We had some money. And they gave them... I, I could be carrying a bomb. There's something in mine. Did someone say bomb? What did you, you get from the tavern that that tastes delicious, Phil? What is that? Somebody got me corn or soda. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> we have, we have here. oh yeah. Oh yeah, been at that place is good. Sorry, Scream. I have I have dinner. So so then that so then that they essentially if that I according to my research, if then that they gave us this right, that these could be well, mine and Talgor's can possibly be used to to basically do what is what is an infusion of some sort, maybe? And yours is connected to some shadow being. Cool. <laughs> I mean, you don't get to go to the devil's house, bro. <laughs> Artin is not having this. I mean, yeah. that, do you want to trade that? No, no. Okay. I'll, I'll keep my egg. You get your your gems and. <laughs> you keep your egg. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it, if or how it'll come out. I don't know if I want it to come out. Smash! I mean Definitely that, not gonna smash it. I mean that since that we are gonna be traveling together, we might as well just try to get a little bit to know each other a little bit. You know that me and then Talgor have been traveling, traveling as I as that I stated before that. Well, Talgor already told me all about himself. Okay. <laughs> Inside check. Inside check. He can't talk. How can he tell me about himself? <laughs> There's no insight check. It's just, it's just a blatant lie. What are you, what are you, he's a lion. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, knew. this is the dad joke side of the table. I knew I would like this table. I knew but, it. I knew it. I knew it. Sorry, just had a brain lapse memory. But I've been looking at gems too long. Yeah, then uh, it is getting late. So if we are going to be traveling with each other, I guess then that we should know each of our strengths and weaknesses. Then that from basically where I studied from, I can manipulate some form of time in a sense. So if that somebody is about to 
say just strike you with just say if somebody is about to strike you with a blade really really hard I can basically reverse time and make them miss possibly uh, what? luckily I've yet to have someone strike me with a blade really really hard I I can manipulate the blood from someone's body to come out of their body by striking them with a blade really really hard and I'm going to take some of my wand and just flick it in the air him too yeah, uh-huh. I have seen Talgor fight. <laughs> and then one of the barkeeps is going to kind of slide over in this conversation and be like, Can you undo my wife being a bitch? <laughs> I am. I'm going to pull out a dagger. I'm <laughs> alive! <laughs> I Not am, like that. I just I I am, wanna... I am sorry. That my <laughs> just, side, I'm just gesturing I, to... I do not fickle up in that the realm of emotions and stuff anymore. No, 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 no. I just, I just wanted to, uh, to, to, to not, um, not see that uh, fancy bloke that was through here a few days ago and think that he was looking so hot. That gesturing the daggers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that you can. Bill just leans out the door at the mention of fancy bloke. Not you. I mean that <laughs> you know, whether or not if that she was a bitch or else just a fine lady. But it's still basically not my realm at the moment. Ah, well. What about this uh, this mole thing here? Can you make that go away again? Gesturing the daggers. <laughs> I mean, that it isn't that type yet, and then I am not that strong enough yet. Ah, I'm just no, saying no, no, a good no, no, blade no. will do it all. I don't like them fish fingers. Walks away. Uh, they are webbed. <laughs> so... So I just take it then that uh, if that you don't mind taking the charge, then that that's fine because that you seem to be a man of action. True. I mean, then that. No, I, I agree. I mean that I am the voice of reason, somewhat. But well, if if I no one else is going to disagree with you, looks to him. Nope, he agrees with you. <laughs> and then that Phil, that he's uh, basically outvoted. No, that he well sometimes, but who knows? <laughs> Absent votes don't count. Absent. <laughs> Even if he voted for the other party, it doesn't matter. I mean, then that. So then that one, just uh, yeah. getting just the general vibes of just caravans and stuff. Since then that it is going to be my first time basically adventuring. It's going to be quite oh. interesting. Well, actually, no, oh. that I did meet that one crazy old wizard that he was my master of so so if you weren't adventuring when did you save this one i y'all were just basically it was just at the luck of some random attack that had happened at the school then that he was a noble fighter scales says it wasn't luck it or was my it, it was basically that the cost of soul and then a little bit of my own magic oh okay you say what i say you say Stop writing. <laughs> Sometimes I'm gonna work. I'm Ooh, gonna talk for you. Man. No, no, thank you. No chips what and salsa. What is happening? No. <laughs> no. I'm offering chips and salsa. No, thank you. Yeah, wait. Oh, bring me the chips and salsa. I'm sure. You get one chip. He's sharing chips and salsa. But, so. The anyway. government is now run by nacho chips. <laughs> Sorry. Are you. The girl no. was always run by nacho chips. I mean that. So then that basically then that. It's a nacho chip monster. So basically then that I guess then that our formation will basically be oh, you two in the front, me and Phil in the back I shooting. I guess, yeah. no. <laughs> and blasting. Yes, yeah, and see yeah. then that and then that also and then that also priority number one, get his vocal cords fixed. I guess. So I just came and blasted. <laughs> He came in blast, and then he just blasted his ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to retire to the room. Yeah, go same, to same. Just gonna just like get all of. Do we all have individual rooms, or we sharing rooms? Sharing there, probably makes sense. There are actually enough rooms in this in this tavern where y'all could have your own individuals if you want. Did the queen? Give us individual rooms or one room because I'm not individual. Individual. That's room. nice of her. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, because not a standard government contract. She's she's not as stingy as I thought she was. You know, you're weird. Like I'm gonna give you twenty gold if you live. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, that no, look at it from her point of view. She gave us 20 gold to begin with, and then we got up by a monster. She literally just gave 20 gold to the thing caused the problem. She paid for the issue. The monster that doesn't loot the bodies that she can find later and get her money back from. Like, it's not, it's not like... It is a conspiracy! <laughs> eventually, now, eventually, what it ends up is just somewhere down the line, our eighth version of characters after that many TPKs just find a mound of dead bodies... A monster that's just over to the side. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's just we respawned by a pile of loot that was our old bodies. Just like, take oh, all man. that. There's like two thousand gold. Just take it. Look at all these different gems. <laughs> right. One one of them's just walking around with spider legs. So each of your rooms has has a lock. There's there's no need for watches or anything overnight. You're, you're safe. Um. However. I do want you all to roll a d4 for me. Damn it. You got the four? Um, when you wake up in the morning, <coughs> Arten. You're missing is, your kidneys. There is a small scroll on the bedside table. Oh, good. We got props. I can't promise props all the time, but tonight, you have a prop. At the same time, for a second, my brain went, she just handed him a joint. <laughs> I'm a um, I wish I hadn't shared this on my Instagram now. <laughs> I, uh. Beer kids are gonna watch this, but, like, man. It's been literally, yeah. Just, look, I doubt, I just doubt. walking around the room immediately. Check the lock. Still locked? Still locked. Is there a window or anything? Yes. Is it, un is it open, unlocked? Nope. Or spooky, spooky. It came out of the gemstone. <laughs> you good? You all made me sleep. <laughs> drink. Behold, mortal. You now carry my vessel. <laughs> my name is Leopold. Parking manager of the seventh level of the abyss. I can't. I love this table already. <laughs> I need you to go to my Facebook page and like my last post or I will never be able to be free. That is a warlock patron nobody wants to see. <laughs> no, Mark Zuckerberg will not be a warlock patron. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and then uh, he's... It is just the most ugliest warlock patron too. Well. No. What? Emily just yelled, he can't be a patron. He has no soul. Or balls. <laughs> the only thing you get out of your pack with the Mark Zuckerberg pay, uh, warlock is the message in sending. <laughs> That's, oh my God. Well. And and illusions. And illusions. <laughs> yeah. That is and true. um, um, what's the one where you can where you can give somebody um, you Gaius? can falsify their memories. We, we, Modify memory. We need Gaius. to stop before we make this a legitimate thing. Yeah. We don't need the pack of the Zuckerberg. <laughs> I'd rather have pack of the Zoidberg. Or else that the pack of Tom. <laughs> Why not that Zoidberg? you only get the Tom. Why not Zoidberg? Spaces. You need a patron? Why not Zoidberg? Why, Why not, not Zoidberg? Dr. Zoidberg? You need patron? <laughs> to be fair, that's just so, the old one. Sit down on my bed. I read I read the, the scroll. Great. Because I would go insane and eat that whole thing. Deep sigh. <laughs> oh, all right. Get up. And I go right over the, to uh, Phil's room. Knock on the door. Phil opens the door. But he is literally just in that overcoat. That has been pulled tastefully closed. And he has a cup of coffee somehow. Decent of you to cover yourself. Uh, well, I can't show off my tinker's tools at all parts of the day. Fair. I need to speak with you. I can walk I, in. Well, can't put on pants. Let's go. <laughs> you can put on pants. I shut the door behind uh. me. Lock it. I locked my door last night. Made sure the window was shut. Heard nothing. Smelled nothing. Nothing woke me up. But when I woke up, the door still locked. This 
was on my table. Y yes, you can read it. I was making sure it was readable and not smokable. Oh, it's... Because <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Phil just sees a, a tightly rolled thing of paper <laughs> hit the... Wake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> Wake and bake. Oh, God. Dang it. <sighs> no. You just get to just join your mom groans. I'm not a fan of riddles. And, uh... Can I make a history check to see if I know who this name is? You can. That's a 14. You have not oh, heard no. the name Feast before. Mm -hmm. You have heard of the family Jorzan as the leaders of the Sword of the Nest. <laughs> The Sword of the Nest is a, essentially a shadow organization made up of some less savory characters, some rough and tumble types, but the one thing that the few people who will talk about them willingly mention is that they are absolutely devoted to defending people who can't help themselves. They're bad people who do good things. So, first question, um, where do you stand with moral gray and ambiguity? You beside it? Okay. Uh, so, that's basically from the Samaritan Snatch Purses. <laughs> um, Swords of the Nest. Can we change their name to that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Right. Look, I, I get to be clever like once. Hey. No, 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 Just go. Keep this it. is awesome, go. This keep is it. awesome, <laughs> keep going. Shadow Organization. They try to help the weak. They fence some amazing stones. Okay. So. Any idea what he means by shadows and... No, I don't do riddles. Okay. I'm more of a haiku individual. Spoken word. But fair. All right. Oh, maybe this will reveal itself out on the on the path. I I can't imagine anyone else knowing. Is that Mr. Brown? What's happening? Okay. Is that Mr. Brown? They got timed out. Yeah, they got timed out. Why? Right? I don't know, but anyway. And it says something about don't <coughs> post links. What oh, that? they probably shared a. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I bet they typoed and put a period in the wrong place, and it tried to turn it into a hyperlink. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's the, oh Mr. Yeah. it's the Mr. Brown. Okay. Sorry about that, uh, James Key. Sorry. Or James Syke. Uh, uh, the, the, it was a algorithm thing. Yeah. We got to talk to Claire about some of the Autobot stuff. So where were you going next? <clears throat> so, um, personally, before we all leave, mm -hmm. I think we might want to talk to them. How much time? <clears throat> She, okay. she went around. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it's not quite dawn yet. Y'all are supposed to meet the caravan at the east on the east road at dawn. Okay. If you want to go, I'll get I'm dressed. Gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, you can get dressed when you want to. Get I'll be over there. While they're doing others. I'll go and uh, knock on Zonya's. I have to find your name real quick. Yeah. Zonya's door. So then as she's like, in a minute, and then as she just basically just comes in with just like. Just some like, just like, just some cheap-looking matching set PJs with just a sleeping cap on. Just oh, Arton. Good morning. Good morning, Zonia. Thank uh, you, Raptors. <clears throat> I uh, last night went to sleep. Mm -hmm. Door locked, window shut, locked everything. Secure. Right. 
Woke up this morning, still secure, still locked. But this note was left on my door, or on my uh, table, bedside. Really? I asked Phil what he thought of it, and he really uh, didn't have much to say about it. He told me who the, uh, who the people were, who the family was, that, mm. but maybe you might have some clues to it. All right, let me see right quick. I'm just going to walk into your room, back to hang out in the hallway. This dude has no idea what personal space is. <laughs> I know what it is. I just don't respect it. <laughs> Typical cat. <laughs> Thank you. If there was stuff on a table, I'd push it off. But I'm not gonna. Uh, history there check? Stuff on. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Damn. 13. <laughs> you also know the the family name. George mm-hmm. And the same kind of Okay. Uh, it's Jorzon. Uh, Swords of the Nest. I, I have heard about them a few times. Whenever I was just perusing the uh, that the local lo- that the local library one day, and basically that they are just a bunch of uh, that they that they are a bunch of um, you know, somewhat misguided good doers. Mm-hmm. But then that that. From Shadows of Darkness. Uh, hmm. You don't think it could be tied to what you thought you saw? I. I'm not connecting it to that right now, but only because I saw that. No one else knows what was in the gym. So that you want to try to keep that to yourself for the time being. Exactly. That that's understandable, and then that. <clears throat> Well, then that you can give me about basically a minute, and then that I will be ready. She just closed that. She just closed now that she just closes the door. A minute later, fully dressed, ready to go. Yeah. While you were um, downstairs looking for breakfast food, a few of like a few different groups of obviously they're, they're the caravaners. Um, one of them um, introduced himself to you as as Brandon. Um, apparently had been given some descriptions of y'all. Yeah, I'll, do, uh, I'll do a little okay. thing and introduce myself. So everybody else should be down shortly. He's gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna walk over, walk over to the caravan with you. We gotta, we gotta get, get a move on as soon as the sun's up. If we're gonna try to make the campsite right. in March, I might just go get everybody and tell them come on. Fair enough. All right. Oh, that it is time to go. Okay. I was in the hallway anyway. I was like, nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't okay. just uh, bed and stuff made up. Got all, got all of my just books. Just imagine you walking into the hallway and trying to whistle. But this is rather. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this is rather early. Just, oh well. Uh, a loud as, hiss and then a, then a wave, and I was like, yeah. "Time as, to go." As far as go. breakfast goes, um, there yeah, there was like small um, linen bags of like biscuits and and um, uh, Jerky and then like road, road rations. Time right. to go. What does me trying to do again? Gives you plus three mm-hmm. okay. for eight hours. Yeah, then that, I uh, think that I would have went ahead and then burnt that spell slot for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to make that a note on my sheet. Okay, continue. Um, but basically, ro- road rations <coughs> to go and um, make sure you've got all your. All your stuff out of your room, and basically Brandon's gonna walk with y'all um, from the tap. The tavern is actually this uh, this building here, and basically just kind of taking y'all over here, mm-hmm. north north to the okay. to where the caravan's kind of set up and ready to go on the road. Be somewhere beyond the chips. <laughs> it's like right under yeah, the yeah, notebook there. The yeah, um, beyond the chips in the in the valley of woe. <laughs> beyond the sun, valley of death. In the kitchen. Okay. Um, it is a um, I don't think I gave y'all time of year info before. Um, it's early, early summer, um, and uh, mm. so the the Did morning that is. Coat is coming off then. <laughs> the morning is brisk, um, and the the sun is already starting to. You can you can feel <clears> it's going to get warm. So as soon as I walk outside and the sun hits uh, hits my face, y'all ever see a lion do that stretch thing they do? And, yeah. yeah, I'm doing a lot of that motion. Just lots, <laughs> lots of big. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Phil just has uh, to wander around like... Just so like morning calisthenics, I take it? Catasthenics. Catasthenics. Ah. <laughs> but that is a new one. I mean, that, you know, that I did uh, hear some of the kids were talking about some goga. I don't know what that is. I think he might be more of an individual that likes Pilates. <laughs> One more? One I'm more? Gonna, I'm just gonna. I don't have one. I don't have oh. one. Oh. I, th- I think it's a. Um, oh, damn, what is it? Um, feline lift it. Mm. Or else. Or else that he just could just be kitten boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. All right. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, it's it's a the, the sun's finally starting to kind of peek up over, um, and so y'all are y'all are gonna be walking into it for an hour or two. But mm-hmm. um, there are three wagons, um, pretty pretty good sized wagons, and they're piled chock full of stuff, but everything's kind of under tarps. Um, as you were walking over, Brandon did did kind of give you the rundown. They're they're hauling mostly food supplies, and so um, it's gonna be a a pretty quick marching order to get to the marsh mm-hmm. and um but once in the marsh things are gonna obviously slow down there's a boardwalk but sometimes things wash out um kind of thing so this is this is all just like he he indicates that he's run made made this run a few times but not lately um mm-hmm. he's been um he's been assigned to the final spade route lately but they They've got a new captain on that route, so he's he's captaining this side again. Okay. Uh, um, any sp- particular questions or things you want to look at before the caravan gets underway? I'm just standing beside the, the uh, what we're supposed to be guarding, looking at this scroll, reading it over and over to myself. Light that shines in the darkness. Something's invisible. <sighs> hold, it, hold it back up. Hold it back up. Right. <laughs> you gotta stare and let your eyes kind of unfocus. When I walk by, I'm going to goose feel and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly kind of chuckles a little bit at that. That was funny. I mean... <clears throat> this, that was, like Phil's body language, that was mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. About yeah. what time of day is it? It's, it's like dawn. Okay, so mm-hmm. then that the watch is probably on like six o'clock at this point or so. I'm like, still early. Anything? Oh, that, that's just <laughs> that, that he had a basically. You can you can read it. I doubt you have anything to say about it. Oh God! Wow. <laughs> Pride, arrogant. <laughs> I dig it. I like it. Like, what is everybody's alignment? <laughs> <laughs> no. Keep yes. that information to yourself. All right. <laughs> we'll do. For now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to write, but I'm going to write to you. I think this someone could be word enough not to trust the queen and them. It's kind of the impression I get from it. That's, so for, that's fair. For the viewers. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have if you have listened or, or seen our uh, the trailers for for this campaign, this is literally what's in the trailer. The lights that shine in darkness aren't always visible under the sun. Beware the tales told by the fire's keepers. Those who control the light often hide their own shadows. And it's signed Feast Draws On Iron Tongue. And there's maybe a little symbol in the very bottom corner. Oh, I didn't see the symbol. Moon, stars. Looks like a bunch of swords stabbing a circle. Okay. He saw moons and stars, but Hmm. I see swords stabbing a circle. Religion check, maybe? For the symbol? Sure. Okay. 
go away. Dice jail for now. You can see the symbol that people didn't notice. That'd that. be a 17. You yeah, have nice. seen the symbol before. It's one of Israel's pantheon of gods. Mm-hmm. Mina. Mina. Huh. That seemed like a messenger of a uh, Mina. That that's the symbol in the uh, lower right hand corner. It's from their pantheon. Messenger of Mina. From the pantheon. From the Snatch Purse family. <laughs> <clears throat> telling me to not trust someone because things be hidden. I mean, that I mean, we can just uh, keep that in mind. Sometimes you don't think it's gonna be like it is, but it do. So, mm. I mean, that that's what is much of that. Deep. That is much of life. But that's much of life. I mean, then that They're after seeing. I truly appreciate the profit. It's nice. After just basically seeing, you know, like life small. life to the fullest and then being almost reverted a little bit, but it's okay. Time magic fucks with you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed. Nah, I'm just messing But it's fine. I'm, it's fine. I'm a jack. <clears throat> I'm a little jack by no time magic. Oh, um, that you, oh, that sure you will whenever that we do have our first excursion. Whenever. I don't know. All right. Three wagons, sun's up. There's uh, Brandon and five other guys. They're basically going to be manning the wagons, and y'all are essentially are we, um, we watch along, staff. Are we walking along? Yeah. The, like, I mean, there there's room enough you could maybe grab a corner, but. I'm going to suggest. To the party, mm -hmm. you two in the in the center wagon. Maybe you go up front, and I can watch the rear. That's fair. Okay. That, that that's fair. Okay. And I'm gonna the whole time. I'm gonna be okay. Snake eyes everywhere. And I thought for a second you're like some like, like chameleon eyes. <laughs> like <laughs> my kind. Uh, like, uh, no one knows what kind of what kind of lizard folk you are, man. <laughs> you could be alligator right, lizard folk, you could be chameleon lizard folk. I'm, got I'm, I'm getting a lot of like uh, marine iguana vibes. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> marine iguana. Does that mean you can shoot salt from your nose into somebody's face? Yes. yes. Nice. Nice. And now that you said it out no loud, salt. that is exactly what it means. No salt is the new pocket sand. happening. <laughs> no salt is the new pocket sand, boys and girls. <sighs> oh, that'd be terrible. I will say you could do that, but only if you were like near Prepared. salt water. Yeah. 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 Recently. Yeah. 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 Well, we could just get some salt and shove it up your nose. <laughs> that'd be so bad. Carrying a salt shaker like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, like just, burns. All I can think of is a good burn. Z Boss video. It's like God told me he teach me karate. <laughs> oh, all right, uh, all right, all right, Phil. All right, all right, let's... Oh, Phil. Before we basically go, that we have basically looked into the gyms, and my gym has affinity to lightning magic of some sort. Uh, names. Tars base. I mean, Tal. I mean, uh, Talgor. Ta Talgor. 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 Is, <laughs> One uh, word he can say. Talgor's. Talgor's is basically affinity to fire. And mine's got a freaking demon in it. <laughs> we don't know if it's a demon or not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I. I have to see this. Oh, I mean. That go around the back. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll be more precise. My stone has a connection to something that we don't know what is, but we do know it is a thing. And then when I held it to the light, a shadow passed across it. Demon egg. <laughs> and then that, as that basically yeah, I... Artin is just talking, that, that Zonya just <laughs> has the smile, patient smile of a saint on her face, just like. You gonna touch the thingy? You touch the thingy when you want advice. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't say anything out loud when I touch that. Ah, oh, damn. He just—it's like it seems. <clears throat> just hold. He's just gonna hold it up and look at it in light. Can it's I do a, an Arcana check mm -hmm. on it? Four. No, I, I'm. 
It's a black gem. It's not exactly transparent because it's a really dark color, but it's a black gem. There's no like obvious um, oh what what's the word um impurities or anything right. to make it like a star opal or anything. Yes. Is he full of shit? Maybe, maybe not. Let time play it out. Um, I didn't see anything. I think you might have been seeing things when you looked in it. It it has a little bit of an impurity over there that maybe if the light hit. You just uh maybe that maybe that just what you're seeing maybe happen. I don't know. Maybe feels full of shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but there's a chance, but like Inter-party he didn't see. Party conflict. He didn't. Already. He didn't see anything in it, so he's like trying to say like what might be a full on mundane. I would just be in a jerk. But he's like, mm-hmm. the, like might I be did. that. But also, I'm not joking. If you lick sometimes with stones and minerals, you have to lick them. Um, I'm gonna because I can tell the difference between. And real and real and fake. Is that so? Puts it back in the bag. I'm gonna lick mine and hand it to Phil. Like smack in your hand. So it's sticky. <laughs> so, so Phil, <laughs> that if that you have your gem, that do you mind if I look at it a bit? Um, it. <laughs> Just like looking. I hold up two separate pieces. <laughs> One is noticeably larger than the other. I began working on something last night. <laughs> she actually face palms, takes off her glasses and face palms. Oh no, it's it's magical, but it was more something malleable. And well, I have a purpose for it. All right, it is your business. Mm. All right, and shall we uh, tell Brandon to be on the way? Sure. <clears throat> Brandon, you ready to go? Ready when you people are. I'm already sitting in the wagon. All right, have a book. Let's and start walking. Let's go. All right. Um, they they get on the road, um, and uh, they're they're moving at a pretty quick clip. Um, the horses are fresh and everything, so um, we're we're gonna kind of speed run this a little bit uh, fast travel fast travel uh i'm not gonna for this it's is not montage. this is not a this is not a campaign where we have to go minute for minute um so <laughs> let's roll for travel it's it's gonna take about uh two hours to basically get to the um where you can start to see the marsh another hour to actually get close to it and this is a when you hear the word marsh i don't know what you think but apparently these people call a big ass swamp a marsh. Oh, so like Louisiana then. Okay. The, the trees are hung with moss. It is dark. It is dank. And the road turns from nice, lovely, like rolling prairie sod to mud. So that scene with a boardwalk. That that scene in Never Ending Story where where a tree yes. off the horse. That okay. That's where I'm that. going. That's what. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Good visual. The water. The water isn't quite that deep. Like, mm-hmm. in most places, it's only puddles, but you've got a think, boardwalk. Think happy thoughts as we go through here and make sure we don't have, like, a horse with depression. So, the um, the boardwalk itself is only wide enough for the wagon and maybe one person to walk aside. So, it is wide enough for the wagons and not much else. Okay. Um, as, the is the wagon. Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> as, as we go along... Um, the ground on both sides will stay pretty close to like there's not like a big drop off or anything but the ground itself will vary there's like almost like running rivulets of water and muck there's big stagnant puddles and ponds there's mud flats with big ass cypress trees growing up out of them It's, it's a swamp it is a big ass swamp and there's no visible end to it once you're in it. <laughs> Welcome to my style of notes taking. This is how I remember stuff. I'm sorry. It's a big ass swamp. Got it. But then I heard big ass cypress tree. And my next thought was, well, what about all the other trees? That, do what? they not have big asses? No. Is it just the cypress trees? Yes. Little ass other trees. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's not. It's not even that there's that many trees. They're big. Tree be thick. This, this place. Is <laughs> I'm tree keep an eye on tree line. Just like 
to make sure there's nothing in and out. Jovan would be so um, unhappy You can go here. ahead and give me a perception, see what mm-hmm. you can see. Yeah. And then, <laughs> what, what were damn you it, Chris. So, God, the dang Cypress tree's got fat dumpies. <laughs> it's a 15. Um, yeah, uh, there's like, there's some birds, like, um, nesting in the branches. Okay. Um, you don't see any, like, hanging, like, snakes or any, like, what, no. drop, drop bears or anything okay, like that. Okay. <laughs> I was actually eh, looking more towards the, the water and skimming across the surface. Go ahead. Seeing if there's any movement or anything. Because, uh, I don't like water. Because you're a cat. I'm a cat. Because <laughs> I'm a cat. Oh. Oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> the water looks <laughs> gross. <laughs> the water is gross. There's patches of mushrooms and scum. Mushroom water? I mean... Like in the, in the, muddy, like in the muddier parts. I mean, that my all right, let's get this over with. Logs with, like, scum all over them. Right, and so... Whole kitten caboodle. No, we, we're going to be spending the night here. Kit, kitten caboodle? Yeah. Yes. The kitten caboodle. Kit and caboodle. Kit no. and No, you caboodle. said kitten. Kit and caboodle. The kitten still, caboodle. Still heard kitten caboodle. Well, at least I didn't say kitten caboose. <laughs> we're already in a big ass swamp. <laughs> the trees were thick. That's the, that's the cat. I mean, that you are, think cat, that you though, are basically cake. beef. Beef lion that you are basically okay. Fine, fine. Freaking Thick cats, too. dude. Thick cats, too. I forget the dude from Thundercats, Lee. God, Lion Up. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay. Never watched it. And <gasps> seen. Grew up without <laughs> cable. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Poe broke redneck. Anyway, so yeah, um. Basically, just before noon, um, y'all are fully in the swamp. Yeah. Um, on the boardwalk, and basically, um, I saw raptors earlier. I missed yeah. all, all, all stars. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sorry, I, I just hadn't noticed. We got new followers. <laughs> Yay. Um, the uh, brain words. I have brain words, I swear. Where did they go? Um, Brandon's basically going to be continuing to push the the caravan there will be a there will be a stream um kind of around noon time it's a little cleaner seems to be flowing a little better um it's flowing out from the north um let me actually i will actually drop a a map in in our discord channel later um so that you guys can see um uh, y'all will actually have been given a map too I, i don't i didn't i forgot about that um Y'all will be given a map when you got your bags of holding and such. There is a map. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, we're just, we're going to literally just streamline this until basically as the sun is starting to go down behind you guys, it's mm-hmm. going to start getting dark a lot earlier mm-hmm. and because big ass trees, there's not a lot of light down in here. So, um, there is a slightly um, wider section of the boardwalk that seems specifically made for overnight stops. It's not exactly a campsite. Um, it's more just a wide spot in the road, literally. Mm. So, um, Brandon is basically going to pull the wagons. They're going to unhitch the horses and kind of put the horses tied alongside the wagons and butt the wagons up against each other to make like one long barricade. And that'll leave more space kind of front back behind the horses kind of situation for bedding down um there's not a lot of firewood to be found they actually pulled out some firewood from one of the wagons like they brought stuff in because everything's wet Mm. so basically just to help just get that this fire just going to just do a produce flame on the stuff just keep going until it actually catches I, i there we go a little flame. Um, but anything else before we're basically... No. No. Okay. Um, the carabineers are essentially bedding down for the night. You guys are figuring watch. Like that, how y'all many are literally how many watches are there? Whatever y'all want to set. I say three that uh, the two spellcasters sing, and then y'all have y'all own separate. No. So you two together, then. 
Does, well, first off, is anyone here not able to see in the dark? I can see in the dark of shades of red and black. I see purple and black. I'm fine. I'm pretty sure I can. Hold on. Dark vision party! Uh, out of character, meta question. Who doesn't have dark vision? <laughs> Did everybody get it? That's it. That should be fine. Okay, so everybody... Mm -hmm. We love it. We love to see it. Okay. Cool. That... Mm. Was just making sure because if we'd known each other this long, if there was anybody that didn't, right? Make sure uh, I'll take first watch. Okay. Alone? I I okay. only need four hours of rest anyway. Right, and then that the eight hours that would have passed, right? Four, four major. Take honor. your four hours in yes. the okay. middle of the night. That's important yes. to so know. You can have some first Goodbye. watch. And okay, I've done morning watch. I'll take you first, and then I can. So, oh, it, no. so then it would be both of us then. My, my hunch in this situation is that I would, I would rather have two people up at one time. Well, then I can take two because I don't yeah. need as much rest. So you, you one, you're first and last. Sleeps in the middle. I'll be. Uh, what, what did y'all just say? You're first. And no dark vision. No, no dark, dark vision. vision. I mean that I can do the second watch, so it'll basically be us two. Okay. So the two of you in the middle of the night, but he doesn't have dark vision. That is correct. He's, he's just shaking his head like he doesn't want to be up in the middle of the night, not seeing anything, swinging at stuff that he. I don't like that. Uh, to, to be, to be fair, he could take watch right now. Yes. yes. And. Still would be swinging his axe as something he cannot see very well because sticks his hand or sticks their hand over lifts a little bit past the wagons. Fair. And then pulls his hand back. <laughs> no. Fair. Fine. Fine. Okay. You two, you work, you've always worked well together. You'll take first. Okay. You go ahead and sleep and then we'll. Um, just Rocky before Kinder. Brandon and the guys turn in, they do actually set a couple of small fires, one at the front of the wagon train, one at the back. So there is a little bit of perimeter, but there's not a lot of space on the sides. Okay. But there's front and back, a little bit of light. Are they taking first watch? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, you just go to sleep. Just go to sleep for four hours and then okay. they'd be awake forever. What, what was y'all's? 12. And he got an 8. Okay. Right. Um, there's a lot of noises in a swamp at night. Um, lots and lots and lots of noises. Um, burblings and uh, splaps in the mud. Um, there's wind in the trees every so often. And there's also a few intermittent uh, shrieks that maybe are birds. But you never seen a bird like that sounds like that, so who knows? But all at a distance, nothing close by. So nothing we think would be dangerous nope. to our health. Okay. Okay. Right. And uh, sweet cheeroo around midnight or. Um, I was gonna say, uh, probably nobody notices, but what Phil does is get towards one of the wagons. Set the lantern underneath the seat, touch it, goes into it because it has pillows and blankets and it is fucking comfortable <laughs> in there. It is a constant like 72 degrees or so. Beautiful. Got the window unit going. Oh my God. It's beautiful. And he's just going to lay out on his insta bed. <laughs> insta bed. We, we love to see it. <clears throat> yeah, I was just lying down with other people and stuff. And, you know, I Feels like no bed. Michelle's braiding your dreads while you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Am I gonna wake up with like beads and shit? In <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> no problem maybe. with that. <laughs> Y'all just come back. Rattling. <laughs> Something's up with my head, isn't it? <laughs> 
Yes, and in a, it sounds <laughs> like, oh wow, that these are like, are that those bone beads? Yes. <laughs> and shell. And, and little bits of, of bright glass. Oh god, I got puka shells in my <laughs> hair. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. Well, what it up, is uh, your turn for rest. everywhere. <laughs> I am basically just going to just go to sleep I'm just gonna, up on the seat I was on. I'm going to sleep as close to the fire as I can because I'm cold-blooded. So. Uh, front or back of the train? I'm staying in the back where I was. Okay. Kind of more so in the middle. Okay. All right. Uh, next watchy watchy. Give me perception. Um, That's a 14 plus 2. 16. Um, this, this deep in the night, um, things quiet down. Um, all the critters that were out and about earlier have kind of hunkered down. Um, it's eerily quiet. Not dangerously quiet, just very quiet. It reminds you of the astral sea for a few moments. Feel comfortable for just a second. And then like, no, that's, that's not supposed to be here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's an echo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nothing really. Okay, um, that's a wonderful phrase to be <laughs> added to the tail end of that one. Um, mm, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, just uh. Your watch passes essentially uneventfully. Okay. And then I will, since I've had my four hours of rest, I'll stay up with our... Okay. All right. Uh, both of you go ahead and give me another one. Uh, I will actually help to give him advantage. All right. Wait, hold on. What well, do you got plus to your perception? Yeah. Yeah, I will give... I will help. Fair enough. He probably has the greatest passive out of all of us. Um, how how are you guys on watch? Are you just posted up and kind of <clears throat> scanning on a on a swivel, or are we pacing? So they're in a line, mm -hmm. right? So I'm assuming like everybody's like sleeping next to a fire or underneath a wagon mm -hmm. or in a wagon. And the horses are literally picketed on the wagons, like on opposite sides. I think the are these covered wagons or open wagons? They're open wagons, but they're fully tarped. They're like open box wagons, and they're just tarped in a heap. I think Phil would just kind of be sitting on top of one that felt like there was a crate. Like, not like, like yeah. don't want to be like, oh, sh I sat on the potatoes. Yeah. I mashed them, but guys. But you're, you're getting eyes in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. More or less just sitting up on top of the wagon looking around. I'm walking. Okay. As you're kind of, as you're kind of walking and you kind of turn, turn the corner and you're on the north side of the road, um... The there's a, a cold breeze. There hasn't really been a cold breeze. There's been breezes, but they're summer night breezes. This is a cold breeze. And it just feels wrong. We're underneath the flight path. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I would just like the best end of the thing. I'm gonna grab my um, eraser so we can reset. Okay. Cool. Do, do, do. Hold on a second. You got a spritz? You spritz it. Or, yeah. You shouldn't need a spritz. No, I have uh, some of my dry erase markers that have the built in. Uh, the blue's not going away though. Well, there, now it is. Give it some good old elbow grease. I mean, I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the, the first episode of this amazing campaign. <laughs> give, give us some erase. Bill, come on. <laughs> why, why, why'd you give me the blue? What am I supposed to draw? Ow. <laughs> ah. Fight, fight. <laughs> Roll in it. Wait. <laughs> Roll initiative for dry erase. Right. Roll uh, initiative for dry one. erase. Yeah, yeah see? Melee Mats is a good company on Mats, though. Missed a spot. Well, 
is Mr. Spoon? Jed is now in charge of all the minis. That's right. All right, give me another six. This, the another wagon up there. Big Lego block. Mm-hmm. Donka Shen, Donka Shen. Excuse me. I will be in the middle, probably just on the outside. Yeah. You're just That's sleeping fine. between the wagons. Yeah. You sleep, yo. All right. So, cold breeze. Cold, cold breeze. Doesn't feel right. Uh -oh. Immediately, I turn around and then I look up because I didn't. When I turn around, I don't see anything, right? Not right now. And then I look up, hoping, wondering. You feel that? Did I? Yes. <laughs> Smiles. <laughs> I don't know how emotions fully work. <laughs> so get my. Uh, since this is not normal, I would like to roll Arcana. Go ahead. I don't even know what magic fucking is. <laughs> Come on! That's the second that one. Oh my god. You probably just panicked a little bit. You just panicked. Actually, I would... I just, I, I just let out a little too. Because I'm not sure that it's not natural. I just felt the cold breeze. I was going to roll survival. Go ahead. These... That's... Oh, I can't see the chip. Yeah, 12... It's not caused by an animal flying overhead, at least. Hey, we have ruled something out. And, as, you, and yet included uh -oh. so much. And you, as, did, hey, you didn't fail, you just learned <laughs> one way that that was not perceived. And as you're kind of, you're, you're trying to broaden your horizon, so and, to speak, you're, you're thinking deeper. And I'm holding my glaive. I was like, right. Mm. Farther out then your dark vision will let you see. So like as you're looking into the swamp, mm -hmm. you can see all the all the trees and everything just looks like layers of gray. And the farther out you get, the dimmer and fuzzier it gets. Somewhere beyond the limit of your perception, you hear a You heard it too. Is that a dolphin? <laughs> Walk over here and kick him in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> too, <laughs> too strong. Too strong. The, you just hear the screams. The, the iguana is now What's in the mud. What's going on? Just kidding. No, no, no. Huh? What? What is it? It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up? Okay. Something's uh, happening. Just glasses. Okay. Do the same thing for the iguana. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> bite, 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 bite. I just need to like just in, in return you get a good growl. Alrighty. Get up. Right. Grab he's, your, just, he's just gonna get up. Grab your like, spear. Yeah, he's, gotta, right, he's ready to go. The horses are getting restless. I have I pull out, actually pull out my grand. I kinda wish I had taken out. calm emotions now. I mean that <clears throat> basically that you just see her just basically just pull out that this that just that her stopwatch and in that it is basically it just starts to kind of just glow a little bit can you reverse time so we don't hear that <laughs> not yet <laughs> that what in the bloody fuck was that um, not up. natural hmm swamp pig <laughs> okay I'm gonna before they get before, <laughs> pretty much before they get here, I'm gonna stealth myself if I can. Um, try. What? Can I try to hide? Yes. I'm sorry. Just, this big <laughs> lizard folk just gets underneath the wagon. I have a stealth plus two. And then just shimmies into the dirt. He says, oh. One. Dude, dude said stealth is stealth, and I was like, where are we going back to the chameleon? Where would thing? you like to stealth? Do you want to be under wagon, behind wagon? Are there trees up here? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's up here. Just jumps into a tree. Yeah, yeah, iguana in a tree. Yes, yes. And he's just yes. hanging up for it like this. And then that, I, I like it. I like and it. Then that, he's gonna come down and then that, you know, that y'all are just basically just tree. seeing. Tree. Alien shows up for the first time. That's how he's gonna come down. Tree. And then yeah. y'all are just seeing, just like that. These, just like that. These 
off that y'all are just seeing, just like these arcane sigils just start to kind of glow around her. I've never played a barbarian before. Okay. Uh huh. I'm not an expert. Rage is a bonus action. Rage is a bonus action. We're, we're counting on the other DMs at the table because I do not have everything memorized. Hey, you want to know what? You just wing it. The wing in it is the best, best DM. All right. Uh, so basically... Speaking of winging it, there's something with wings out there. Um, this is our boardwalk line. Okay. Cool. So cool. anything beyond that is going to be um, difficult, difficult terrain. terrain. Difficult terrain. Cool. And there, so may, there may be natural hazards my, as well. My current situation, I am staring directly where the sound is coming from. And like just ready, ready to go, and barking orders like the the caravaneers are up now, and they're Good. basically trying to get the horses off the wagons and move like down this way to get out of y'all's way, leave y'all a clear field. Cool. Okay. Wait. It's a good place to go to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go over there to save them. Um, time person. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> sorry. Names. Sorry. Names. 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 Zonia. So, Zonia. Yes. Are you willing to save them with your time magic if they run away and get killed? Yeah. All right. Later. <laughs> I love how direct that is. Done. <laughs> cool. Oh, I love that how direct that natural is. Natural leader. And done. Natural leader. I'm out. I am just a measly professor. I only know that he's done. That she's done it before. That's all I've known. Yeah. To like. I'm a jeweler. That's it. But that's all what we know. So, so I'm, I'm just over here like, well, she's done it once. She can have more. Why did we bring a jeweler on well, an adventure? Nice. I mean, that he just has a fancy lamp. I don't know what that is. I, I, literally, anytime you see me touch it, it almost seems like a nervous habit. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. You've got a tick. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. So, cool. 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 So cool. now, now that you've kind of got your. You got you got all your allies up and and you're kind of focused again. Off in the distance, you can start to see a few figures. Um, mm-hmm. They're still way out at the limit of your vision. Um, Which is <laughs> it should just be sixty. Which yes? is it's sixty. Yeah, feet. sixty. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sixty. We got. We, let's see. If it's dark, dark, we have about sixty feet of dim vision. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's still hazy, but they're they're starting Sound to come into into dim your light, range, pretty much. And um, so you can't make much out about them, but they don't appear to be on the ground. They appear to be hovering over the ground. Ghosts. Why did it have to be ghosts? Because we're in a swamp. On a. S- uh, well. This Spectus? would confirm your theory that they Help had reach. Me. Wait, what the? Fuck! Don't help that. Mommy? Ah! <laughs> no. No mom's here. You're not a mom, right? No, I am not a mom. No mom's here. I don't think I am. I'm cold. Cool. <laughs> I should have had a cleric. <laughs> Probably that breeze. Guy. Breeze got you. <sighs> oh shit! There is it. Look like a bunch of kid ghosts coming towards us. All you see are shadows. Mm-hmm. Three shadows detaching themselves from the mist and coming your way. Oh. Um. Oh. All right, what's everybody's alignment? Because we're about to have to kill dead children. (laughs) Um, Raise your hand if you're willing to go evil. (laughs) Can I... The fires are here, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I would like to grab... I need to get spells. A a log and or stick that has fire on it and throw it in that direction. Okay. (laughs) Wasn't there one right next to the carts, too, that we were... No. That's basically what these are. Yeah. Okay. The cook the cook fire was, was already damped like it was like over here. Yeah, they must they, they, they would put that out. Uh, so um we haven't rolled an issue yet. Um no. You know, what would have been helpful is to hook the damn horses back up and scoot. Well, that's gone. Well, well the horses are gone. gone. 
and the the horses yeah. are, the horses are Close. literally like twenty feet down this way. They're like looking at the horses. The horse just <laughs> how did the horse so, wave? So th- throwing stick on fire. You just go like this n- towards the shadows because why not? Why not? I'm not gonna shoot an arrow. Just athletics for toss. Yeah. Roll for chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to yeet. <laughs> Roll to yeet. There should be a stat for yeet. There really should. So sixteen. Ooh. Nice. Nice. You you successfully yeet. Um, your. Yeet. How, however, it's a swamp, and so basically it lands like here, and mm-hmm. all, you only get like a little bit of light before it Boy. dies, and all you see are shadows. No, no, uh, anything up. Okay. Cool. There are there are three shadows that have a vaguely humanoid shape, and they are floating slowly in your general direction. When that flash kind of goes and dies, they almost seem to pause, and now they're coming quicker. Roll initiative. Oh <laughs> boy! Huh. Oh, I'm by the fire. I'm okay. The fire. Good. Ooh. Oh, that is interesting. Nine. Oh, time was a good lord. Seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I get to add my uh, what is it? It says that I get to. You're I get. The, you're still. I get, you can't I high get, five from the tree. I get, you're just. He can use his tail. I get to add my initiative modifier to my. I mean that my intelligence modifier to my initiative. Nice. So that's a twenty-one. He gets first. Can you light it up? Let's see. Okay. Let's uh, see how. I'm not going to burn a second level. Dun 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 No 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 no. Don't think my blade's gonna cut a shadow. I am gonna no, die be here. Yes, this is a plus one still magical or <laughs> don't think yeah, my exactly. blade's plus gonna one cut a, a shadow. Oh. Okay, so we have a magical. we have a twenty one at the top, yes? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we had a four. Four. Okay. I'll probably at the bottom for sure. No, he's, he's at the bottom of us. Okay, four. where is seven. it? Okay. I'm pretty sure you had like nine. nine. Okay. Oof. Hang on one second, please. Well, he got a 21, and we're not even in double digits. So, yeah. Yeah, space. Wait, wait, what'd you get? Damn. We going slow. Time have, Wizard's I have, like... I have mediocre stats. We're, right. we're going slow compared to Time mostly Wizard. Plus ones the, or plus uh, Time twos. Wizard gets to go fast. The big black one. Why you gotta be black? Because <laughs> it's, it's painted black. Fair, fair, fair. The little gal here. Gal one. Is there? And the little boy one is here. Okay. That's not too bad. Just rewind time to right. to back when we got all the the I'll gems and then we peace out so, and don't do this mission at all. <laughs> so <laughs> ba- so, so basically, that you well, all just see swap? just uh, like that z- that just like just uh, like Zonia's eyes just kind of like flicker up and in that they go like. Full, basically like that glowing just ember and that she holds out that her pocket watch and then it is just like a arcane clock just like appears and then that she is shooting out witch bolt in front of the big black one okay and then witch bolt is a uh, 30 feet so let yeah. me make sure one two wait i am going to move up a little bit so then that's one two three four five yeah but that's in range 14 plus 6. 21 a hit? Yes. Alright. One. Wow. Dice jail. That's where you go. It's pretty though. Suck it. Big black. One, one damage and then just gonna just keep concentrating that on. <laughs> just tank. Ah. Okay. One second. I'm still taking notes. It disperses. It was just a, a pawn. It, it's dead. One, one and done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
That brings us to the one that you just took shot of. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Since you just shot it's it. It's been so long since I've played my shadow. Let's see here. Was that you or the ghost girl saying that? Is that <laughs> um, Both. Let's see. Okay. I'm <laughs> going to try to save because of the fact that I only have two of those. So I am going to try to save for like a crit or else a big hit to use that. Uh, All right. Mm. This is you, right? Yes. It's coming right for you. Oh, fine. And hovering in front of you, it basically extends a, essentially a hand, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have form. And so it kind of just swipes through you. Okay. 19. 19 will hit. All right, uh, so that is going to- Concentration be... check. Mm -hmm. Nope, Witch Bolt is gone. Oh yeah. What does Witch Bolt do to it? It was basically lightning damage that I was concentrating on, and then that since then that I lose concentration, that the spell just ends. It would have done more damage on the start on of my, its turn? Or on on my turn. Okay. Basically, that I just get to roll another d12. Okay. So, let me mark off those two. Nine necrotic damage. Okay. Mm. And your strength score, score, not mod, is reduced by four. Okay. So, you, you go down to zeros on the now that strength I go, modifier? If, you're, if your strength score goes down to zero... You're dead. Okay. okay. I was just saying your modifier went to zero. You oh, chose, yeah. You took oh, nine, yeah. so you're at 17. Right. Okay, thank you. Right. I was trying to do two maps at once. Phil, you see the shadow go like this, and Z um, Zonya kind of seems to crumple a little bit. There's something happening there. Well, I really wish I could do Eldritch Blast! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a nat 20. Ooh. I, see, I got the fancy thingy. See, looky. Yay. It's, a little, it's a little dwarf. Confirm. <laughs> Confirm. On, uh, on the one in front of Zonia? Yes, so that is going to be 2d10. Roll that beautiful damage. Uh, that is... 18 plus 3 for my charisma modifier because of agonizing blast. So that's 21. And then I can dump two thunder damage into it because of being a djinn. You don't have to waste it. I, I can do it once per turn. Fair enough. Either way, it's gone. And it also technically gets shot 10 feet off to the side. As it as it basically, you, you slam it, just and it basically goes like this and just peters away into nothingness. What the fuck was that? Do that again! Okay, so... <laughs> ah, damn, I really wish I'd done... Because be I said Eldritch Blast. Uh, I should be like, Firebolt! <laughs> and just did an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> However, fun fact, every time I cast a spell that has a verbal component, I'm going to add the phrase, I wish. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could do a Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it, I love it. Okay. Just boom! One one shadow down, peeps. Uh, Arton, Lion Lord. <sighs> yeah. All right. So, don't want to do water because I'm a cat. Um, there's ground here. Where's the mud? Yeah. Past the uh, line. It's all past the line. Yeah. That's water. Let's, let's see there. if we can find you some uh, dry ground. Cool. So. Forty. No. Four hundred. Read it right. Dots. <laughs> oh. oh put, put those back. I need to know where those are. Oh. Oh, okay. You were going... Like positioning. Yeah. That's a dry ground spot. That's a dry ground spot. Oh. Oh, it didn't matter what was on the dice. It's where they landed. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's neat. I hadn't thought of that before. That's and a good idea. And we'll, we'll throw, we'll throw a few more. So it's got the same one again, which is weird. Um, go ahead, and, go oh, ahead and mark so those. Kevin's yeah, real dry. Kevin's real dry. So it's super dry. You can make a fire right there. Re -roll it again. Yeah. That's going to be really helpful. So basically, all I'll need is if you want to, if you want to do lion jumpy jumpies, yeah. um, I'll give you advantage on them okay. since you're since you're a kitty cat, cat yes. like reflexes. Yes. And uh, you can basically just give me a uh, like an athletics check to dry ground hop. 
You say advantage athletics check, mm -hmm. dry ground hop. Mm -hmm. Dry ground hop. <laughs> <laughs> Arton, use dry ground hop. Um, as, was it super effective? As, that's a, the first roll was a 14. Uh, uh, that one's a 16. And super I'm, effective. And I'm adding five to it, so yeah, I, I, I make it. All right. Wait, don't you, you have a... I have a glaive. He glaive, so reach. reach. Yes. And so, Get him. And so I'm going to smack it. Get him. I'm a glaive. Get him. As a 16 hit. Yes. All right. You get glaived. <laughs> then, it's bonus action. I'm a roar. Roar uh, uh, could fear something within uh, within 10 feet, uh, DC 16. You trying um, to scare the scary Yes. Give me, give me the damage from your glaive. Oh. oh. <laughs> not, even, not even caring about the damage. Uh, D10 plus four. What's up, 10? That would be 14. Ooh. So roll Halved. Non-magical. Okay. Is your glaive not magical? It was the plus one. Fair enough. Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those that it is kind of a yeah. What people do make an argument about is a master worker, a plus one weapon, actually magical or just really well made, and it's up to the DM. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She said she's a cool, so it's fourteen damage to the thing, and then a roar. Um, and you said it was a check on something. Yeah. Uh, as save versus wisdom, <laughs> and the uh, DC sixteen. Immune to frighten. And 16 on the die, too, so. Good attempt, though. <laughs> you just, rah, ghost. It's still, it's still, Here. still passion. Rah. It's just the, thing, it's just the thing of One Punch Man. Okay. No. no. Uh, <laughs> we have discussed this. No. Well, see, the thing that would be better is, which is a kitty. As, as you're, as you're, ba <laughs> you finish roaring, this, this ghost girl, basically, she looks at you, and you see her. What what few features you could tell in the shadow are now morphing into very angry, not Ooh. Ooh. looking Oh features. no, no, you gotta get out of there. We, She's it, gone demon on you a little bit. It's, it's great. We love it. The, we love to see the it. The EMF meter's at a 10 to activity. <laughs> you need to get out. Nah, nah, don't. <laughs> Lizards. Lizards, come help. <laughs> the lizard's in the tree. So you're taller than this shadow. This is a this is a child sized shadow. Uh oh. She gets all up in your face and basically oh. like the full shrieks at you. And so how does a seventeen sound? Bad. Reaction. Re roll that. Time wizard can do that. Curse your time that wizards. Again. Oh. <laughs> the thing that's making so many people mad online. My boy. <laughs> just basically then it just Why reverse do, that. Don't a fail bit. me. Okay, gotta ask you. It failed me. It failed me. Gotta ask you, why is this spell so controversial? It is basically no that this is an ability that you only get oh. two a day. Okay. But it is basically it's like the, the divination wizard okay, minus so that it okay. isn't based off of my rolls that they have to reroll. It's right. a it's a force do over. And then yeah. that you just basically just see that the attack are about just, to go and then that like reverse the, reverse inspiration and i mean that, all it is is doing the grave cleric thing with a nat 20 that you can negate a nat 20 and make them re-roll it except it's for anything yeah. i know i'm just saying i still don't see what the controversy that yeah that people are complaining online, about stuff but anyway then that what I that you it. but then that what <laughs> that you, but then that what you basically see is just basically that the ghost girl is about to hit you but then it's just like Reverse back down. She, and then she, I, and she then screams. I just I shiver. Like, she not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today, little one. But with with that, her attention shifts. Cool. Cool. And she's going to get all up in your can, face. Can, can, okay. I, can I swing it up? You can. I'm going to swing it up. Leave, leave in the, the, the realm of my that blade. That's such a cool ability. <laughs> I'm going to smack it again. That's a 16 again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> five. That's 10. Oh, that's... Oh, no, no. It's... That's a D... That's, that's five. It is a D10. Uh, plus four, so... Nine. 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 As, as she basic... Her attention shifts, and she goes to move toward, and you just 
wheeling swing carve through the shadow itself and it splits and dissipates. Don't <laughs> <laughs> mess nice. around, let me hit it twice. Lizard boy, so up in a tree. Get to roar, drop yeah, bear. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop down. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop bear. Now I am gonna need to know how far up the tree you were. Okay, Maybe so I need to make that a resource on my sheet. All right, we'll call what? it ten feet. I won't. Yeah. I won't make you throw. I won't make you throw damage. Okay, it wasn't very far. Yeah. You're, you're tall enough. You just drop. I didn't go to the top, 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 top of the pond. I was about to get got, and you were like, "Nah, don't get got." And I'm just gonna rage as a bonus action and try to get here. Okay. And get there. So what is it? I've actually never had a barbarian in the party, so rage does what? Uh, rage gives advantage on strength. Strength. Mm -hmm. Strength saves. Uh, athletics checks. Athletics checks. Halves all day or halves. It gives resistance to everything but psychic. Before right. Oh, are you told, you're told him with the bear. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing that'll really hurt you is psychic. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you can recklessly. Plus, you get, you, get, you get plus two at this point right. to your damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Rage sounds, sounds good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Um, also, you, you plus your weapon, too. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Me. Okay. All right. It's my, it's my great axe. All right. So it'll be, a, it'll be an athletics check if you want to try to do a leapy leap. Lizard leap. Is it an advantage? Or? Um, I got advantage just as a even cat, and you're a lizard. Yeah, I'm gonna say lizards aren't really as agile as cats, so it's you are an iguana. It's, but it's quite an athletics check, right? Suck it. So you you uh no, I've been just because I'm raging. Yeah. Yeah, so that you should have athletics is strength. Yes. Yes, so that you should have advantage because yeah. you're raging. Too many mechanics I'm not used to. Well, so Hello. Twenty unnatural. Yeah, you're gonna yep. be able to get wherever you want to get. I'm gonna get right here. Yep. I want to get close enough. I don't know if uh, Great Axe doesn't have It that. doesn't have reach. No, it doesn't have reach. So I'm, I'm just going to move right there. That's fine. You're yeah. a It's a little squelchy, but you've got them web feet. You're okay for now. Yeah, I'm going to... Are you going to do like that Jesus Lizard run? Not yeah. right now. He doesn't need to. He's not bogged down right now. I'm just going to take a swing at it. Uh, that's a 15. Yes. So... A D12. It's a D12. Yes. Uh huh. We love a good great. Is this a, is no, this that, a, that was a, a D10. D10. Ten. 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 Right. There you go. Okay. Plus plus two, so be ten. Is that with your strength modifier? Yeah. And plus I get. No. Well, I get one for strength and two for raging. Right. You only get right. plus one for strength. Yeah. Okay. You have low strength. Thing. Yeah. I and, do. I, and then that you also have a plus one magic, so then that the magic should also go on. So it, so it should be. Plus one for strength, plus one for magic, and plus two for raging, right? Right. So yeah. it's 12. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. You know, D&D &D is just Lord of the Rings. Matt, math. That, math, that math is hard. It's fine. Um, you, you take a good a good carving swipe. The, the shadow, like, it's not corporeal. So you're literally just swiping through shadowy mist. And so it forms back after, but it seems to be moving sluggishly yeah. to form itself back. Um... And essentially, this, that was all right. It's all I can do. Yep. Because we're not level five yet, because I know better. Um, <laughs> and and so, sa same similar thing is going to happen. Shadow is going to get at eye level and basically try to, it's almost going to like grab for your head. Okay. Um, engulf you a little bit. 15. That's what I mean. Do I gotta save him? You save me? Did you not save me? That, uh, can't save your Chewbacca. That I, that I was you busy look, the, looking up something. Reaction, so yeah, then, yeah. Then yeah that I have once, a, already used one. my reaction. Right. <laughs> that's max damage on two d six. Twelve plus two, Ooh. necro. That's fourteen. So seven, because he's raging. And plus any ability score damage. If the, if the account for the mm -hmm. little guy. It's going to be seven just because he's raging, because mm -hmm. I, I get resistance to everything but psychic mm -hmm. damage. Yep. And then three okay, neg on the ABI. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, basically just going to be... You're, you've, got, you're, you've got a cloud of shadow around your face right now. Okay. And uh, that brings us back to top of the round. Okay. Zonya. 
So Zanya is basically just going to just uh, like a uh, look at the one in front of just uh, Talgor and just like basically just uh, like just kind of like that. She just focuses uh, into the, the thing's mind. And I'm going to need it to make an int save. Against what? Uh, oh, that's stand by. I'm trying to make sure I can that, that's a 13 that. on the int save. For what effect? It is going to be mind sliver. Oh, got that one too. Explain. <laughs> mind sliver. Cantrip. Mind sliver. It is a cantrip. You drive a disorienting spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range. The target must see on an intelligence saving throw or take 1d6 psychic damage and subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw okay. it makes before the end of your next turn. That I All take right, it. So it's, it's a 12. Do, okay. do shadows have minds? I don't know. It can't get feared. It'll be four psychic. Okay. Double checking my numbers here. And then that bonus action. Um, bonus action. I will be fine. I'm not going to waste the plot. As you throw this spear of pow pow in the mind, mm -hmm. um, you don't really. Something about it has mind, has memory, but it's faded and, and broken. And, but it, your damage does go through okay. and it, it dissolves slowly. It almost like trickles away. Okay. And disappears. <clears throat> with, a, with a soft, <sighs> because we love our sound effects. And cat leap. <laughs> so then uh, you are okay over there? Yes. Thank huh. you. <laughs> then that you know that the clock just starts just Tell slowing more. back down on her own clothes and stuff that the clock just start coming back to right normal back like <sighs> Both of you look a little drained. I'm all right, a little bit. Just a little hurt. Uh, I yell back. Uh, hey Brandon. Let's just go ahead and get going. Mount up. I'm not going back to sleep and nearly y'all. Yep. Uh, they alive. They, it's good. They come back and start hitching up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't just go off screen and die. No. no. <laughs> oh, so, ah! no. Now we gotta push the wagon. The, so, I'm, I'm not the, throwing y'all deep into the fire just yet. There could have been like four shadows that we didn't even see because they were over there munching on the dudes and it was like so dead. Just a big old troll. Hi. No, <laughs> put that away. <laughs> so that that is just Not basically that the extent of what I used to be able to do. Uh, yes. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. She confused. she had to reverse a whole lot of time to save. Our friend here, and doing so weakened her. So that amazing crap she just did, she used to do even more. Magic's weird. Agreed. Yes, magic is weird. Also, for a time wizard to use past tense is weird. <laughs> I mean, that. Technically, I... couldn't she use all tenses? Future, present tense. I don't even think future, you have to be a wizard to be past that. participle. <laughs> past participle. Present future past participle. Are you like a short person? About five, somewhere between five, five and five seven. I am five two. Short beans. Short magic. Beans. I meant, I meant like a little people, but yeah, I get you. Oh. Ouch. I was gonna. Ouch. I don't, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> well, then that it seems yep. like that we basically. I don't, I don't need to be chomped. <laughs> Don't toss the gnome, because we don't have one. Huh. So like then that you do have skill a little bit. So a little bit of a wizard spell, Eldritch Blast. Wizards can learn that. I just wished I could do better. <laughs> oh. Okay, I mean, it's fine. All right, then. Let's do a little cat, cat boy over little here. Cat, cat, cat boy. Little cat motions and kind of straighten up my I mean head. That 
I guess that's some uh, nighttime reading, and then that basically that that there that there was nothing like left from like the shadows or anything. You can you can do an investigation. Okay. Don't fail me now. Fail her now. Nine. Don't, they were don't. shadows. They went poof. Dice jam again. Dice jam. Okay. It's, I don't think that they were carrying shadow money. I, I don't know. They might be into crypto. I'm I'm not sure. Crypto. Crypt. It's... Is that? Is I, that I, I, oh. I love this side Sorry. of the table, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm glad someone caught it. I <laughs> caught it, but it's like <gasps> that this is Billy multiplied. I am You're living welcome. The dream <laughs> over here. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Brandon was like, is that is that astral sea money? Is that, that what you use over there? No, I was referencing that they were dead. I mean that just as long as they're they dead, they look they look like they were moving around. I mean dead that things dead things dead, can move. Dead, undead, dead. I mean that just uh, as long like as then shit. I mean then that just as long as then that y'all don't have like neon flump flump tokens, then that that's fine. Everybody assumes this would just spend gold. Neon flump tokens. Mm. <sighs> Anything else? Let's move. Need this is a terrible move. place. It smells like farts. The cat is wet. I'm cat is not wet. Bleeding your, a little bit. Your feet are wet. The cat is a little wet. <laughs> the cat is damp. The cat is moist. Is the cat out of the bag? <laughs> These cat puns. <laughs> it Check is to going see if you still have your bag of holding. <laughs> It's gonna be a catastrophe. Check, check, check the bag. Grab, the, grab the stone. Still, 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 still there. No shadows coming out of the stone. <laughs> Fine. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> and it is ice fucking cold to the touch. Whoa, are you okay, Arthur? I was going to. It was make cold. It. Well, hold on. Can I? You did put it in a bag of holding. Yes. Yes. Pocket dimension. No sun. Here. <laughs> it's ice fucking cold. That this is very cold in there. Back in the bag. Shut the bag. <laughs> Tie the bag. <laughs> that we will do our research on that do, later. Do you double knot it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fold it down like a dry bag. Buckle it like the whole kitten. I mean Hold that. On bite with a <sighs> hmm? What? Break. Break. We were. Our, that's basically it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was it for the session. Mm -hmm. Oh. Y'all get back on the road, and we'll literally pick up next time. Oh, okay. okay. And guess what? Level up, peeps. You completed what? your first fight. Yay! Now you'll be stuck at level four for about three sessions. So. Yay! Yay! <laughs> level four is my favorite. <laughs> I um, get an ability score. But yeah, that that was that was it. I'm um, bumping up this to eighteen. <laughs> so then that that's gonna be. Now, um, now a plus seven now. Technically on the schedule, we don't have a session next week. If y'all want to have a session next week, even though it's holiday, we can. And then I'll be gone for two weeks. So what do we want to do? So uh, Initially, we were going to leave next week off because I got in-laws coming in. But uh, the big thing is our DM will not be here for three weeks or won't be here for two weeks at the start of January. So do y'all want to try to get session in next Thursday? If you want. If you want. Okay, I'm off, so I'm free at any point. Same. I can okay, I gotta do it. Some basketball games. Monday. Uh, I have. I have a regular job. Job where Monday okay. through Friday is nine, same. nine uh, eight thirty to five thirty, but same bat time, same bat yeah, channel. Same. So, yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. Like this is uh, when I informed the wife it was like Thursdays after work playing nerd things. <laughs> she was like, I. <laughs> I didn't know initially that she could watch me play nerd things. Yes. And that's going to be interesting. She's going to start heckling. She level two, totally, we are totally level four. Heckling. Level four. Wait, I, started on, them at, I started them at three. Hold and on. We're let's, let's bring in our social media goblin. M! M! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! Hi, hi, hi! No one is here! Unless it refers to dice 
motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Table is trembling. It might be a mimic. <laughs> Caution. I'm, I'm not getting in between this. No. No. I do the same. I know where the boy's plastic sword is. Love you. I get you. I, I, get I would you think you know where the sword is. You call me a goblin. Oh. Would it, it be is, better if we said goblin? It is dice goblin and social media matron. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so cool, 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 so cool. social, so social media. So we yep. didn't die yet. I, y'all, y'all got to do your, do your pump ups, and I got to get my my new feet. So cool, cool, cool. great weapon fight. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube and uh, Team Bonus Section. We are at Bonus Underscore Team on uh, Twitter. Do not retweet us about <laughs> NFTs because I don't okay, fucking care. <laughs> I just made that my alarm. What? NFT. <laughs> thanks, Zeta. Thanks for calling me a fat, dumb pie. <laughs> At first, I was like, man, this one, everybody's talking about your butt crack. It's one person talking about your butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop talking about your butt crack. That one person all about the butt crack. We need butt. to make my face palm a gift. All we do. It, it, it's all Topher talking so, about Now, here's the problem is. I have to go back and clip this. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, she it. just made a video of dumb shit we did. I'm gonna kiss this him. This is the first it. session. Zrail the bloopers. All right, follow us on doing. social media. We talk about nerdy shit there too. I think Zeta's drunk. Anyway, so that's the social media. Uh, <laughs> thought I heard a noise. It first. was a ghost. Good session. It's good anyway. session. Uh, anyway. Uh, so next Tuesday we're going to be playing Phasmophobia online again. Uh, not sure on the time with that. Um, next Thursday we'll run this. At some point there's going to be more of Cur I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking dating sim. Yeah, with uh, with the Kyles and me, the the three grown men that should never be left unattended. Uh, we are the uh, we are not dumb. What the hell was What's that? that? Spooky noises. Spooky noises! <laughs> Yay. That's that Yay. thing that happened to my face, but then yeah. didn't happen to it my didn't face. Happen, but it happened to me. Did it? Reversed. All right, folks. Uh, yeah, thank you all for thank you for watching. We'll be back. We have a lot coming in uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we, 2022 gets here and it's a good year. Good kind of. Yeah. In any case, uh, well, since Knox talk. isn't here, if we all want to chime yeah. in and do it together, don't, don't let, let your meat low. Good night, everybody. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah.